Hey friends, I hope you are all doing well. I decided to put together some of my old organizing videos, kitchen organizing videos, to get you motivated so that you can turn them on and you can start organizing your kitchen, organizing any space in your home, just to keep you company, to get you motivated. I've got a bunch of ideas. It's a lot of me talking, so if you like me talking, this is the video for you. Anyway, I've got almost three hours of kitchen organizing and pantry organizing for you today. I hope you enjoy this video and happy organizing. Here we are in day one, we're doing the freezer. Here's the freezer situation and it's not bad, but it's not quite any good either. So uh, we got the ice, can't really do anything about that. I got sort of frozen meats here. This is a weird drawer with like clover stuff and like now it's got nothing. Um, and down here we've got like ve vegetable weirdness. So this, this is stressing me out. Like this in particular, stressing me right out. So we're gonna see what we can do about this. I got some of these contain, not this one, not these, but I got some of these containers to maybe help me out a little bit. We'll see what happens. I'm not really sure, but I'm hoping something will work. So we'll see what happens. I just want to hold you I just want to look into your eyes And tell you that I want you You know you make me feel so alive Can't stop thinking about you day and night Love it when you kiss me Love it when we touch Every time I'm down here You make me smile You're the solution You are Okay, I am all finished. Clover's over this because he knows he gets dinner in five minutes. So I'm actually feeling a lot better about this project. I had to turn the light on, so it's getting pretty late. So we've got sort of an organization system going down here in the freezer. So at the top, we've got like entrees. We don't keep that many frozen entrees. We have like this pasta thing from Trader Joe's and like some waffles. Um, and this is a, I think this is tomato sauce. I froze this, so if I need tomato sauce, I can grab from that. Um, and this is Clover's business. This is like some pumpkin that he has to keep his um, stools nice and solid. <laughs> um, and there's a couple other freezer packs in here too, along with a couple of his Kongs. So that's his section and that's cool. And then in this area, we've got all of the meats. So I wanted to put little containers at the bottom to trap anything that, like, if this were to like defrost or something, I don't want it, or, or if the electricity would go out, if anything spills, I don't want anything to go underneath and contaminate the rest of the stuff. So anything that wasn't in its own tray, like this is in its own tray, it's fine. Um, I put in one of these little trays. So we've got the fish here, we got some, some sausages and lamb. So that is cool, that, I like that. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, that is cool, that, whatever. This is vegetables, frozen vegetables, and this is frozen fruit. <laughs> I got rid of some stuff that was super old, so um, this is like stuff for acai bowls and things like that, where you have some real estate here to play with, so that makes me really happy. I'm actually thinking I'm gonna like just stick maybe like the waffles down there, just to fill it, I don't know. Um, so this is the frozen veg. I. We use a lot of frozen veggies when we cook, um, just because we can't always have fresh. So we've got a million Whole Foods bags here. These are the ones I've already opened. Um, I pretty much have a consistent, like, same vegetables in here. Um, there was a couple things that I had to throw away, um, and, and a lot of things that were old. So um, that that is that. So that's the vegetable area. I know I have two bags of edamame. I'm not really sure why, but we got to eat those up. These are like green vegetables, and a lot of this other stuff is just like regular like, corn peas, all of that other stuff. So I think it looks really cute and good. 
And we got some leftover containers here. This is from yesterday's project. These were in the freezer last time. I don't like them there, so I'm going to use them for something else. And this was one extra container from the project. I really like these containers, so I'm going to keep this and use it for something else. Um, and I didn't use this one either, but I can, I'm definitely going to use it someplace else. So I've got some extra containerage going on. All right, I'm gonna mark off freezer. That's done. I feel so much better now. <laughs> I feel so good. I'm like, I can do anything. I can buy more frozen food. Tomorrow is the fridge, so get ready to do that. Or if you wanna do them on the same day, that's totally fine. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Stay neat. Are you ready for dinner? Yes. Are you ready to eat? You wanna eat? Are you hungry? You want some dinners? Let me get your dinner. gonna do this little cheeky little cabinet or drawer that's what this is look at it I mean it has all of our like little tools and stuff um, but I do not love the way that it's organized so we're gonna measure gonna do all right one foot one and then we're gonna go this way laser magic uh, one foot seven, 19. All right, 13 and 19. We're gonna go for that. I pretty much know how deep it is, um, but I'm gonna get a manual thing for that because I don't think this goes, um, I don't think this can measure below six inches. So we'll get a regular the measuring tape for that. All right, so it's a little over five inches deep in here so pretty fair amount of depth um i am happy with the way that this is working it's just a little bit of a jumbly mess so if you want to see the other drawers this is where the knives are and also the kitchen shears and also our steel to sharpen our knives and on the bottom is basically like measuring stuff in our mandolin and stuff like that so this this actually is good works for us looks pretty organized so not so bad but this guy he can get rectified a little bit. And I've got the cutest little like food processor. I love this guy, but I think I'm actually gonna move him to another cabinet. So let us go on an adventure. You ready? So you're ready. So you're ready. Sort this out. Actually, I'm going to adjust the camera and then we're going to sort this out. A one, two, a one, two, three. Birds do it, bees. Do Guys, I totally forgot that I had this. It's a little strainer, but it looks like a Loch Ness monster when it's in the soup. I love this thing. It's so cute. And I actually have also. A little baby one that's a ladle. I love these little guys. They like nest together like mommy and baby. So cute. So I got a few of these deep drawer organizers from Interdesign from the Container Store. They were on sale. Red stickers. We like to see that. And uh, we're gonna see uh, how these work. Again, organizing trial and error, folks. So if some of these don't work. I'm gonna take them back, or uh, maybe I'll need to buy more. Who knows? Aside these twins, some are junkies without means. Do it, people say in Boston, even beans. Do it, let's do it, let's fall in love. 
okay so I'm done this is a lot um, this is a lot more like peaceful <laughs> than I had it before and these are the things I usually reach for all the time I kind of um, as you see I kind of struggled a little bit because um, I had like I well, I had an extra one of these focus and this was in here as you can see I also bought this on sale um, but it was like the only one in there I was using to hold like just these little like prep plates. Um, I've got some sort of blue theme going on, blue and green looks like. Um, anyway, these are like the things that go with um, my um, KitchenAid mixer, um, this guy over here. So I don't use that very much. So I'm actually gonna rehome these um, closer to the mixer and farther away from like the regular stuff. This is a little like CD bin I got from Container Store. I think they still sell these. These are really handy for like whatever. I have another one in the pantry. They're really awesome. And um, this little tiny adorable food processor, I'm going to move next to the other food processor. Um, I don't actually use this one as much as I use the big one, but sometimes I, you know, I just need to grind a little bit of something. So I use this little cutie and um, I totally have room in this other cabinet down here where my other food processor lives to put him. So that's what I'm going to do. And I like the way that the drawer came out. Um, so everything in here is uh, what I use on a regular basis. Of course, the box grater, I use that all the time. This is a little um, immersion blender thing so you can pour some things in there and then I um, grind them up with the immersion blender. Um, this is a little tiny strainer. This also goes with the immersion blender. This is a little whisk. And um, this is really cool. I haven't opened this one yet. It's for saving herbs. I got it at um, Tags Up the Street, but I haven't opened it and tried it yet. Um, this is to remove uh, like leaves from kale and herbs. It's really cool. And these are my little prep bowls. I put spices in before I uh, cook and I have a little tiny funnel, which I use all the time actually. And you guys are gonna laugh, but I actually, these are my goggles from when I was in summer school and I took chemistry um, because they are great when you're cutting onions, <laughs> then you don't cry. <laughs> so that's why I have these in here, they're for cutting onions. And actually, um, also it's a good idea if you cut habanero peppers or anything really spicy because as soon as you cut into it, the vapors go um, right into the air and can cause you some distress. So uh, these are really good. And also that you don't touch your eye afterward. Um, and here's where I put the little labels and the little strainer, so cute. And um, this is a little, is this not adorable? Focus. Um, it's a little whale and it uh, is for straining water out of pots when you've cooked things. Like if you cook rice or something, there's still some like water left over. It's uh, struggling with the autofocus here. Um, you can use this and uh, drain your water and it, it's a whale. How cute is that? I got it on Amazon. Anyway, so these are the things I use regularly and uh, I will put the rest of the stuff away. So we have had a really exciting day. Clover is sleeping over here. He was. Okay. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed organizing with me today and uh, join me in the next video for the next project. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Above the fridge, above the fridge. It is actually super high up there, so I'm gonna grab, I'm actually gonna grab one of these uh, bar stools <laughs> and stand on this, because this is the highest surface I can stand on safely here in the apartment. And uh, I'm gonna take a look in there and see what's going on. I definitely will be taking some stuff out um, and moving some stuff around. I know I've organized this space before, um, but I think, I, I, you know you know what I do. I do, I go and I refresh those spaces and renew them every like eight months or so. So it's time to go over the fridge. Just so you guys appreciate that YouTube struggle, look at the insane filming setup, the insanity. All right, first order of business today to take everything out. I'm very much looking forward to this. Actually, look, uh, I can show you what's inside here. It is just basically, it's cookbooks that, let's be honest, haven't actually used in a while because why would I go up here to look at cookbooks? So maybe let's fix this sitch. Uh, we got the hot pot, we got uh, the crock pot, and uh, party stuff. And uh, there's some rando stuff back there as well, so, uh, I'm gonna grab that stuff, and um, I think I might be able to find another home for some of that stuff because it's not getting used up here. And I want to just use this stuff for use this stuff, use this space for stuff I absolutely hardly ever touch, like party stuff. Maybe we should just have more parties. That might be the move. I just I want to have more parties, frankly. I mean, 
I wish I had more of a reason to use it. So let's have more parties in 2018, people. So here's what uh, I have removed from, I've removed everything but the crock pot because I mean it's just got to stay up here. It's like it's got no other home. It's cool. Um, this, <laughs> this is actually my bento box set. Um, I used to make bento boxes a lot um, when I was living alone and had a regular job. I. I don't want to get rid of this stuff. <laughs> I really like this stuff. It was really fun and um, I want to be inspired to make it again. So I'm actually going to, you know what, I'm going to take this stuff down and put it in a more accessible place. Um, but I just don't know where that would be. And um, the party stuff I left up here because, um, I mean, frankly, there's really a, no other place for it. So, um, but hey, part of stuff tour. I got like, you know, plates and stuff, little cheese uh, plate here, friends, and uh, little like sauces, sauce plates, uh, a fancy another like serving board, another fancy tray, little accessory, accessory? No, appetizer plates, a little um, cake stand, uh, olive tray more of the sauce things these are things that we use only when we have parties and when we entertain and um you know what we throw some rocking parties here uh at the uh at the organized sprinter household so um oh and i've actually um this is a system i set up before i took a uh, tension rod and i just placed it here um so that i could put these up against the side of the cabinet here without worrying about them falling down so that i had a way to store them sort of more neatly and securely and not worrying about them falling down so i am going to leave that stuff in there for now because i do believe that is okay. I may move the back shelf around. It's on like a little like stackable shelf there. Um, I may move that around, um, but everything else is pretty much out of there. And ugh, it's like, what, what, what am I gonna do? So um, I'm going to put some of this stuff in a different place and I'm actually gonna clean the inside of this cause there's a little bit of schmutz um, on, the, uh, on the cabinet here. So let me get started. One step is all it takes to get us moving anywhere And now that we are on our way, I need to say What used to keep us back were just excuses made To not change You say, I promise to be there in every single way We're doing this together every step we take Closer to each other, so much to discover But I, I'm, I'm so hot right now because I'm wearing a wool sweater. Even though it's beautiful, it, it's serious. I, I am very hot. But I'm all done. Here's the stuff that is leaving. Um, there's some like, this is like food storage stuff that I just never use. So I'm gonna donate some of that stuff. There's this stuff. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna deal with it because it's like, it's weird stuff. And um, this stuff we never use. This is like a, a weird pan and like. What, what is this? I think this is part of an oven that we don't even have anymore. This, what, what is this stuff? And um, this, look at this. This is an end of an era. Take out menu organizer from back in the day. You, this elastic thing is like not even functioning anymore. Anyway, uh, it's the end of an era because I'm gonna get rid of this guy. <laughs> no one ever uses him anymore. He's just hanging out for like nostalgia value. It's a, it's a hot mess anyway. Goodbye, you were loved.
And the cookbooks, I don't love this because it's adding clutter to this area and it's really upsetting. So I'm probably going to have to declutter some of these books at some point. This is sort of like my side of the bookshelf area and I've stuck like actual cookbooks that I like to look at here. I mean, it's not bad. There's a few of them. These are actually really nice books that I would look at if they were within my eyesight. However, it's just, it's upsetting me with the amount of stuff that's on the shelf. Maybe I'll get used to it. Maybe I won't. Who knows? Um, but in the meantime, that's the quick fix because I am not I'm not moving my manga. Who who out there is a nerd and has read Fruits Basket? I, I, I cried so many times. So we are left with a much more open cabinet. I just put the, um, the hot pot and the uh, crock pot. I did that in the last video, didn't I? I went hot pot, hot pot, crock pot, hot pot, okay. I'm not gonna do it again. So there's some open space around here and it's nice and clean too. I took a vacuum to it um, and I moved Party Central up here. I actually had this party thing down here, but I mean, I just moved it up there so all the party stuff was together. And I actually moved that um, tension rod so that I could hold those two things up there as well so that they don't fall over. And um, plates in the back and um, party, party, party in the front. What's the saying for the mullet? Party, party in the, no, business in the front, party in the back. <laughs> this is party all over the place. And uh, I moved my bento boxes here so that I could see them. Um, if you guys don't know what bento boxes are, they're like really cute Japanese style lunch. I was really, really into this um, like years ago. I'll insert some pictures of some bento boxes I made for myself when I had an office job. I want to get back to this. I think this would be a really fun little hobby. Does anyone do bento boxes anymore? Is that a thing? Could that be a thing? Anyway, some of the um, the cookbooks that weren't weren't like books, but were like things I had printed offline. Um, and this is my husband's. I think it has some of his mom's recipes. I just left up here. I have gone up here and gotten this thing before. So, if this having this up here is not a bad thing. But anyway, I am very happy. Let's step back a little bit without falling and killing ourselves. That is the over the fridge cabinet. And I'm really happy with how mess free it is. All right, you guys, I'm all done. I hope this inspired you to go and explore that space up above your refrigerator if you have a cabinet up there. It's a great place for stuff you don't use very much because it's high. It's high up there. Anyway, if you enjoy videos like this, give it a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Good morning, people of the internet. Let me show you what I've been doing for the last, like, 30 minutes. I have been putting items in bags in containers. So now they are easy to get at, right? These are um, click clack containers. They have a little like, this is how they open and close. So the only hazard with like doing this at clients' houses is that it can be rather messy with like things like flowers. Look at all these cool like things though. Wheat starch, rice flour, glutinous, rice flour if we would focus and potato starch we've got labels on the top too because we're gonna put these in drawers mm -hmm. let's move this guy And you know what, that actually worked out much better than I thought it would work out. So we've got regular flour, tapioca starch, potato starch, glutinous rice flour, rice flour, and wheat starch. And yes, I, I would, I, I want to eat here. Actually, just a side note for those of you who don't like having your utensils on your countertop, um, having them in a drawer is actually a really good idea. So this is a little bit of a deeper drawer, so um, we have this for like more um, awkward sized utensils, but we got this little drawer divider. It's actually um, not attached to the drawer. It's made of bamboo. Um, I will link the product down below, but it's really cool. It's like a spring-loaded drawer divider, and we have some similar drawer dividers here um, for the other utensils. So this way you can get the utensils off the counter and have them look neat. So I'm very 
happy with this produce drawer I did. It's produce and like um, uh, like ingredients for soup drawer. <clears throat> so I will pull this out for you. Um, this is a very large produce drawer for um, a fridge. And uh, it's like larger than any drawer I've ever seen in my life. So um, we've got all of these like little um, food containers. These are, I think they are called glass lock containers, um, but I stuck these reusable labels on them. So these labels can actually go in the dishwasher after they've um, fused to the top. They're um, erasable, so when you put different things in them, you can um, relabel them. And these, they have really cool like locks on the side here. So I've stuck these in here. There's like all kinds of ingredients for soups that always live in here. They were in plastic bags before and that's no good. Um, so we've got a little shrimps in like the round ones and we've got long good marys and dates and uh, anchovies and goji berries and yummy things like that. And then the produce was kind of all over the place. So we've got these cool little inner design bins and um, you can take these out and just like grab a whole bunch of lemons if you want to. Um, and we've got lots of apples, so we sort of separated the apples here. Um, the next step would be to add one of those blue apples in here for um, to catch the ethylene, um, but I'm not super worried about that right now. I've got a little pomegranate action right here, and there's some space for extra stuff, so it's not as like crazy as it was before, and it looks actually really nice from the front as well, so check that out. I think it is a thing of beauty. I do. Alright, we're upstairs. Continuing on to the organizing projects, we got this little bathroom that is um, not being totally utilized. We've got some clutter here, so we're gonna actually, uh, we got secret, secret storage here. We have a, a medicine cabinet, who knew? <laughs> so we're gonna work this out right now. Always get a holder, specifically for your toothpaste. Just toothbrush. It's good for the set too, like. So I just wanna say that I'm normally really good at getting packaging off of items, um, like labels, but look look at this like nonsense. I inner design, why is it necessary for like this much adhesive on your products? I just don't understand. I love your products, but like, oh my gosh, look at that. Um, and I actually don't have my Goo Gone with me in my kit today, so I'm gonna have to do this on my next time here or maybe work on this a little bit more, but what a time waster. These are, the, the organizer struggles are real. is we have a lot more counter space and a lot less clutter. So um, of course all that stuff in this corner went inside the medicine cabinet. So we've got some uh, medicines and little like, things down there and all the deodorants. And uh, this came in really handy as you can see. And uh, it's actually not too crowded so there's still space for more stuff. And uh, the only thing that's out is uh, the hand soap because you know, we need that. <laughs> down here, uh, I'm actually, a big proponent of taking the toilet paper out of the package. I know you guys have heard that from me already, but yes, if you want to store it more efficiently, just take it out of the packaging. Um, we've got a little like Lazy Susan here that holds bath products. So if we were going to get really, you know, really serious, we'd label these. But you know, we'll let we'll let the uh, owner figure this out. We moved that little guy that was in the corner in the back there. He's got light bulbs and some other like tooth stuff back there, and we got a little 
thing full of like samples for, um, well not samples, but they're like little travel sized um, toiletries for guests. And uh, that, that solves that. Hey guys, it's Kay from Hub Need Home and today I am out on a job today at a client's house and I wanna show you how I'm going to organize their knife drawer because when I came here last week, I noticed the knife drawer was a little bit dangerous so we're gonna make it a little bit safer for them. Okay, so here's the drawer situation. There's um, a lot of uh, exposed blades there. We've got some, looks like some scissors here, um, a wine thing here. We're probably gonna move that to another place because it's not really related to knives and cutting and things like that. And there's also a screwdriver in here, uh, which I'm probably always also going to move um, and it looks like there is a an opener in here as well so we're gonna find some new homes for some of that stuff uh, maybe we'll put it back in here but in the meantime I'm going to uh, grab my supplies and uh, get to work on this drawer so I grabbed a couple of things to use today. I got this knife dock. This is really awesome. You stick the knives right in here. You don't have to worry about the blades being exposed and like hurting anyone when you reach in there. And I got a couple of drawer organizers too to fill some of the extra space. So let's work it out. Here is the finished result. As you can see, I struggled a little bit. Uh, this drawer is not very wide. It's about um, 11 inches. So if you did have a little struggle, this guy is much too tall to sit in the knife dock like this. So he has a little private space. Um, but as long as he doesn't wipe his, his blade up against uh, some other stuff, in which he's just got his own little private area, that's gonna be fine. Um, but the rest of these guys are in here. They're sitting quite nicely in this guy. This will loosen up over time, this little, um, pork situation, uh, but they're they're in there kind of snugly for now. And we've got the uh, kitchen shears uh, hiding right in here. So that is the first project. Uh, but anyway, I'm ready to do the kitchen drawers today. We are on day 28 today on 30 days of decluttering. I can't believe we've gotten through 28 days. We have two more left. So we've got phone and computer the last two days. So get ready for that. Um, so today we're gonna do kitchen drawers. Okay, let's start with the first one. This is the one with all of my flatware in it and everything like that. Let's get a better view. This is not a very good view for you guys. Okay guys, this is as good as a view as you're going to get pretty much. This is my um, flatware and stuff drawer. So I don't think we're gonna be decluttering much from the store. We do have a lot of like flatware we, since we combined households. Um, but there are a couple of things in the back maybe that can go. Um, these are just like the stuff you get from takeout. I'll just use those. Uh, let's see. This guy, okay, we'll just throw him out. He's broken. It's a knife and a fork, but a little like tine on this fork knife thing broke, so no one uses it anymore. So we're just gonna get rid of that. Okay, we've got straws. Straws are good. Chopsticks are good. We've got chopsticks. Let's see. This is from like my very first like fork collection from when I moved to my very first apartment and I know it's super old. So we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of it. A couple of forks that are back there, I don't know why. Um, and a couple of spoons that were back there, I don't know why either. But um, everything else is pretty fine. It is, uh, you know, it's pretty good. We've got like the little demi-toss knives up in here and the little like demi-toss forks and spoons up there. Those get used all the time. Everything gets used all the time. And actually here we've got, um a steel for sharpening knives because it doesn't fit in the other drawer and a couple of cleaners for the straws so that is where they live it fills up space i don't mind it's fine that drawer is good Woo. moving on to knives and such so we've got a couple of bamboo drawer organizers for knives here they're awesome because they have this little bamboo sort of cork Thing going on to hold knives and protect you from the blades and to protect the blades from getting super dull, which is great. We've got a steel over here. All of these knives get used in the meat thing. I call this like the meat stabber, but you, you don't have to use it. You can use it for like 
uh, piercing vegetables too that you're gonna roast so they don't explode on you, um, like potatoes and stuff. Everything in here pretty much gets used. So those are cheese things. Gonna go ahead and call this done, yay. The spice drawer, I'm sure, is pretty good. We've got all of our spices in here. This has been done just recently, so I'm not gonna mess around too much in here. The only thing I'll probably do later is decant some of these things into their like matching containers just so it all looks nice, but everything in here is pretty up to date and current, so we're gonna close that guy. Do you like seeing my legs every time? Are they not fabulous? <laughs> Fabulous, so fab. This drawer has vegetables in it, so we're not gonna mess with her, she's fine. <laughs> this drawer is a problem child, I think, a little bit. So she's got like a number of different things going on and it's upsetting me. It's been, it's actually I've been waiting for this video for like weeks because this has been upsetting me like massively. Um, there's been some more stuff added since uh, I have reorganized this drawer. So my main concern is like not everyone thing fits in this little compartment. So we're gonna take a couple things out, maybe move them around a little bit and make this so that it's nice and perfect. There, I moved the camera a little bit so that it's closer to center. I don't know, this, is this better? Is this better for you guys? Okay, yes, closer to center. So as you can see, I've got, this is like my my gadget drawer. So I've got like gadgets in here. This, this I, I have to take out. This is, I think this belongs to like a, like a soda stream thing. So I'm gonna put it where soda stream things live, which is not here. Uh, let's take a look at what else is going on in here. Got the pizza cutter. This, um, oh wow, it's really dirty. This never gets used, but it's my husband's, so I can't really exactly throw it away. It's a garlic press. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a wash and um, make sure that I um, account for it when I reorganize this drawer. Let me see if anything else in here is bad. Everything else in here I pretty much use. These guys. These guys I like to keep on a little, keep them under control here. They're actually little bag, like fishy bag clips are really cute. I think Umbra makes these. Uh, I'm not a huge fan, actually let's just, let's just have one, shall we? <laughs> um, I'm not a huge fan of these, I don't love them, but well, this is like something that goes with something else. Uh, but you know, I keep them because they're cute and they do work sometimes. <laughs> Used, I have used a bunch of them. They're, they're in a lot of them are in use right now, but they're awesome when they're on this little like keychain type thing. So let's put those back and actually let's give them their own compartment. How about that? That was bothering me that there was nothing in that compartment. So let's do it for these. And this belongs to a weck jar. So let's put it near where the weck jars live. I don't know how that ended up there, but the rest of these clips. Oh, I found another fishy clip. They do develop some sort of like sticky like residue on them. I'm not really sure if that's like the plastic wearing off or something. It's very weird. Anyway, uh, I got a couple. These bag clips are like my fave. Like I love these. I love these especially. These are my favorite because they go around like sandwich, like uh, bread bags. Um, and these are awesome for like if you have frozen foods, like the frozen peas, a bag of frozen peas, you just like, you know, cinch it up and then you put this around it and it, it's awesome. These are awesome. So, is there anything in here that doesn't get used? That's the question. Everything in here gets used, which is super frustrating, but not everything fits perfectly. Hmm. Okay. Oh my goodness. I had no idea this was back here. This is like the ultimate like, like bag clip. I love this thing. So we're gonna put this in there. My zester and the candy thermometer are too long to go really anywhere. What would be ideal is if I could have one long organizer that went that way, but I, that's not the situation right now. I wonder if I have one. I don't think that I do, but let me go and, because I feel like this is the longest one from this collection. Hmm, let me take a look. Okay, I don't think that that's a thing, so the, okay, let me take these out. I had these, actually I'm gonna keep them back there because I had these little salt container, my grandmother gave me these and they're super cute. I use them at parties, but when I'm not using them at parties, I stick them in the back of the drawer to prevent the drawer organizers from sliding back and forth because they don't fit perfectly in this drawer. Um, but 
I also think there's a little space in the back that you guys can't see right now that I will show you in a B-roll clip or something like that. There is a little space for the both the microplane thing and the candy thermometer. So I'm gonna I'm gonna maybe stick those back there instead of the little salt things. That might be a good thing to do. So far, there's not so much decluttering going on, but like maybe a little reorganizing. So. Actually, those work pretty well back there. So that takes up some of that space there. And this is, what is this, like a cheese thing? This is my husband's and he uses it a lot, so I'm not gonna move it or get rid of it. But apple slicer is ginormous and I feel like I have to move it because it's taken up so much space. We've got, let's, let's use that. The citrus squeezers get a lot of use in our house. It would be more space efficient if we had like the ones that had the lemon and the lime and the orange in the same one, but we just don't have that. We just have three. So we're a little bit, we're excessive, but that's fine. <laughs> we're okay with that. So let's see, I'm gonna stick this slicer or whatever the heck that is. It's a cutter in this little guy here. We've got a little baster dude. He's fine. He comes in. I love these little things for brushing on butter and stuff. They're awesome. It's great because it's silicone. It gets nice and clean in the dishwasher. Um, the only thing I'm questioning right now, by the way, this is, if you don't own this, this is like one of my favorite things in the world. This is a jar pop. And if you are having trouble opening a jar, you just like put this on here, boop, and the, it releases the pressure from uh, like the air seal <laughs> and you can open the jar it's the best thing ever so i think it's like i don't know how much these things cost but they're really cheap and i love this thing if i'm having trouble uh so the only thing i'm probably this okay we got two things potentially here that might need to go let's see is there any okay I might, I can keep this around because like this is a thing, like if you have a can and you just want to open the can and pour things and you do that. And I don't have anything else like that here. But this is a can opener for that's like ancient and I, I don't think we've ever used this. So we have a nice can opener right here from OXO. So I'm going to get rid of this guy. And while I'm at it, I'm going to wash the inside of this drawer organizer because like, can we seriously discuss what happened? Why is it so dirty? I don't know. Okay, we have cleaned up and she's clean and happy and feeling herself. So we'll put the little can opening stuff back in there. Yes, yes ma'am, that's better. So this is food thermometers. Why do we have more than one? Okay, so we've got a digital food thermometer which is amazing and works perfectly. So I don't think we need to keep this guy. I think this is my husband so I'm gonna ask him before I get rid of it but um, he's probably gonna say yeah, fine, it's fine. Uh, oh, this is the little, the little cover for it, I think. Yeah, I don't think we need two food thermometers. And actually, we have another food thermometer. Why is there a screw in here? We have another food thermometer that is brand new. But this is the kind that you put in the oven while you have your roast in there to see if it's good or not. So this one I am going to keep around um, just because I like that feature. I haven't used it yet. Someone gave this to us, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use it. Let's see. Do I need to move stuff around in here? Is this a good situation? And you know what? This is like kind of scoopy. I feel like all the like the scoopy, scoopy type things should live together. You know? I mean, this is not scoopy, but it's like the same shape. I don't know. I'm crazy. I'm absolutely crazy. Okay. How do we feel about that, Sitch? Do we feel good? Cause I gotta move this out of the way. And you know what, I'm gonna take these little salt guys and I'm gonna put them in another drawer. So I feel like our problem child drawer is pretty much not a problem child anymore. I think she is good. Wow, the air conditioning came back strong. I'm, I'm cold, let me turn it down a little bit, wow. All right, we've got one more kind of weird drawer and this is the drawer next to the stove that has some of the, it has like the, a trivet and a couple of like oven mitts which we have a lot of but we need to get more ones that are better than this. I don't know okay so we've got them a little microwave thing that goes over your plate and a random <laughs> coaster but this is my I think my husband made this so we're not getting rid of that I don't know why it's there but you know it, it, it can chill it's fine 
So we've also got in the store some beverage related items. So we've got some beverage related items. We've got wine stuff and all of this stuff I believe is pretty good. This is like a cocktail um, whisk. We've got bottle openers, bottle openers, more fancy bottle openers. Oh, look, I found another one of these. Let's give this away. And, you know, let's be honest. I mean, I don't know how to use this. So, <laughs> I know how to use like this one, but I, I don't think we've ever used this. So I think this can safely leave. Uh, Bermuda. Uh, this is a, a bottle opener, I believe. This is my husband's. I'm going to ask him if he wants to keep it, but for now I'm gonna move it out. I've never even seen it before. So why is this so dirty? Yuck of dude, yuck. Okay, all better, much cleaner. Uh, this is a bottle opener, but how many do we need? I mean, really? How many do we need? I mean, truth, truthfully, we don't need to keep both of these, but we're going to anyway. <laughs> Um, but I don't think that we need this, so I'm, I think I'm gonna ask, I think it's my husband's, but I'm gonna ask him if I can give it away because I don't think in the years that we've lived here we've ever used this, this guy, so he's got it. I mean, he's the same thing as like this business, so we don't need more than one. These are also bottle openers, but they're fun, so we keep them. <laughs> we just like them. They're, um, I think they're, we won one from Anthropology, like a, some kind of party that we were at, and then this guy is just, look at him, he's a fish and he's a fish bottle opener. So we like to like pull these out of parties so they can stay. Um, and this can stay, it's a little like milk frother for lattes and stuff, which we do sometimes. And this is like the wine, like pumper, keep wine good kind of dealio. So uh, that, this is good. I think this is good. So uh, I think the store is done. Oh my gosh, that didn't work. There we go. So we've also got this drawer, which has like lots of gadgets in it. I think I did this in one of my earlier videos. Now you can see exactly what's in here. So this is a prep drawer. It has a lot of prep tools in it. So the first thing I'm gonna take out is this food storage container because why is it in here? I don't know. So we're gonna take that out and we're going to move these measuring cups, I'm not really sure why they're not in the laundry, that, that's where they should be. So I'm gonna move those. And everything else is pretty much in the right spot. I'm just gonna put that on there because that goes with that. That's a little, this is my spiralizer. I love this thing. I want one of those spiralizers that you can crank so that I don't have to like do the turning because it's kind of tiring, but for now it's fine. It works great. This is like an herb keeper that I haven't tried yet. <laughs> um, and then, let's see, I'll put my bowls in here. That way it'll look neater. And I've got some prep bowls here too, which I keep nested, but not always so neatly. <laughs> that is better. And this is stuff for, these are blades for the food processor. So I'm gonna store these with the food processor because that makes a heck of a lot more sense. So we've got the box grater, which is back here. That's good. The little ladles, which are super cute. If you guys haven't seen my little dinosaur labels or late ladles, they're adorable. I got a mama and a baby. The, ba the mama is the strainer and the baby is the ladle. So cute. Um, but then, and I've got the, the whale that I used to, <laughs> to like, I put a pot, I don't know what this is called, a strainer? Yeah, this is like my whale strainer. So I can go right there actually. But, and my immersion blender, which is always, this is like kitchen MVP, totally. Uh, immersion blender, and we got a little attachment for the immersion blender back here that you can't see. So let's go ahead and maybe put the apple thing right there. Because <laughs> this is the steamer. I don't use that that much, but it's it can live there. So the apple apple cutter can live right there, right? Because it's like where we're prepping stuff, so that's fine. And my little salt things can live right there. That's super cute. I'm loving that. That's perfect. So let's take a look at the bottom drawer now. Oh, I have to move the camera because my my tripod's gonna hit it. So this bottom drawer is another of my prep drawers. 
and she is looking good. I don't think I need to get rid of anything from here. I pretty much use everything in here. I'm, I'm very much into this drawer. It's got my mandolin in here. My, so if I need to make dressing, this guy is great. Uh, measuring cups in here, measuring colander, which I use almost every day. Uh, this, oh my gosh, but everything falls down. <laughs> this little container is for measuring stuff. Let me see if anything can go from in here. Got funnels. Oh, there's the measuring cups. I'll throw that in there with those. Oh, top to that thing. You know, I haven't used these in a while. These were like from my old rice cooker and they were fun to like measure. I used to use them all the time, but I don't use them anymore. I just use these measuring cups. So let's take these out. Yeah, this goes with my mortar and pestle because it's part of it. Um, and this measuring spoons. Um, it's okay to have two sets. I'm okay with that. So let's go ahead and put that in there and put that in there. All right. I think that's fine. I got my little colanders here for other stuff. Um, the store is looking mighty fine. We love it. It's good. I'm very happy. Yay. So here are the things I'm potentially giving away, depending on what my husband says, if I can give some of the stuff away, which is not mine. But um, that's not a lot of stuff that we took out of the drawers, but it's something. And it looks like we've got another day of decluttering done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you, and I love you very much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hey guys, it's Kay, and it's time for another Organize With Me sort of space refresh video. Um, in the last video, I posted about um, the what was it? The power hour cleaning challenge. I did express some uh, discontent with the corner of my kitchen area. I'm going to attempt to tackle that today and I will show you what's going on. Hopefully give you some inspiration for your own kitchen area. Let's go in, assess the situation and see if we can do anything about it. Okay. So here's the situation in my kitchen. So this little corner, this little corner over here is bothering me because it's very cluttered. Um, and I just want to clear some space. Um, it's mostly because of this sort of snack portion area, which I think I'm going to have to eliminate. And anyway, um, my kitchen cabinets right now, and actually I'm going to probably redo the whole pantry as well. I'll open it and let you guys see what's going on in here. So honestly, look, it's not that bad. Okay. It's not that bad. It's just a little bit intense for me right now. Um, some things are out of order. And I just, I think I'm gonna free some space, maybe for snacks. Um, so I'll just have to see what's going on up there. So maybe I can free some space down here. This cabinet beside it is totally fine. It has flour, sugar, all the dry goods and things like that, and all the oils and stuff like that here. This is like my favorite thing in the world. I love that. Um, so that works great. Nothing's changing about that. This cabinet over here bothers me a lot. It's like tea and water bottles. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do here. It's really too high up there for, for, for anything practical to happen up here. Um, so I'm just gonna see what I can do. Um, I don't reach for the, the T right there. So maybe I can um, move it somewhere. I don't know. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to evaluate what's going on with the spices here. Um, because I think I do have some duplicates. Um, because I actually have a spice drawer. And the spices that were up there were like extra spices that didn't fit in the drawer. Um, but also um, I wrote on it with a marker that wasn't, that was kind of, that rubbed off too easily. So I'm going to maybe relabel these with the proper marker um, and sort of try to straighten this out as well. This is like, quickly rabbit holing into a whole kitchen thing. Now I originally did this uh, spice drawer, I think back in July, um, I bought all of these bottles from Michael's. They were relatively inexpensive and I was able to take clover. You can see that video if you'd like, um, but I labeled them with the wrong kind of chalk marker. The chalk marker rubbed away too easily and uh, after months and months of handling these bottles, um, some of the labels uh, came off <laughs> and I wasn't able to see what was inside. Actually the cayenne pepper was the one that I had really wore off and I just didn't know 
what it was and I had to smell it, didn't know what the smell was. And when I tasted it, it was definitely cayenne pepper. <laughs> um, I only taste a little bit of it. It's very spicy, um, but you know what? I do love a good spice. Okay, I finished and I'm very happy. Um, well, first of all, can we discuss how embarrassing this is? So these are the extra spices. I think I'm gonna get rid of, not get rid of, but <laughs> repurpose this, um, these acrobins for some snackage. So I'm gonna get these rough around and um, repurpose them. So they're cool. I don't think it's necessary to have these in there anymore. It wasn't really working out anyway. They were just a holding cell for them. But can we discuss the embarrassment that is my having having not one, not two, but three bottles of celery seed. What, what is life? Anyway, these are the extra spices that don't fit in here. Um, well, they fit in here, but like not to my liking. So this is the beautiful spice drawer. So I've relabeled them all. They used to be um, labeled horizontally. I'm going to sneeze because of the cayenne pepper. Okay, funny story, because the cayenne pepper like thing had rubbed off and I wasn't sure what it is when I smelled it. I didn't know what it was. So I was like, hmm, I'll give it a small taste. And I was like, whoo, it's cayenne. So um, I labeled everything um, vertically instead of horizontally. So I think it looks much prettier. Um, so those are my spice jars. These are the things I use most often. And uh, I think they look really nice. Oh my gosh, what's up with this one? Oh, he's so sort of like... I angled them all so that the little like, so that this little part is to the left. Um, so hopefully that should make me happy. Why are you like that? Why are you like that? Okay. And then um, he's down here. We get lavender, nutmeg, onion. It's it's just it's very satisfying. And I got some empty jars over here for some additions. I mean, all spice. Let's be honest. I hardly ever use this, but you know. He got a little spot over here as well. And uh, these are the things that are like kind of awkward sizes that don't fit. Um, I, I'll figure this out later at some other point. I'm not really super worried about it right now. Anyway, I got these. Like these are like vegetarian uh, bacon bits. Uh, they're not good. I'm gonna try them. I'm gonna try them a few more times, but um, so far uh, I'm not liking these. All right, so that's done. And I'm gonna jump into the pantry. If there's definitely something I missed from one of my old kitchens is having a dedicated pantry that wasn't this upper cabinet business. Um, it's just very high. The ceilings in this uh, apartment are like 11 feet or something. <laughs> They're really high. Um, and so I'm forced to put stuff on that top shelf. But um, I have made these couple of cabinets work pretty well for me by setting up zones. You can see over on the right there, I've got pretty much all the canned foods and to the left, I've got all my dry goods and matching uh, clear containers so I can see exactly how much is inside. Whenever I'm running low on a certain kind of rice, I can always tell because the packaging is nice and clear and uh, I could put it on my list of things to buy. I did wipe down everything with a microfiber cloth just because uh, I had the opportunity and I could. Okay, I'm all done and I feel good about this refresh. So I basically um, put all the things that were sweets um, into the cabinet up there um, because as you know, we don't have a pantry. So uh, I, I'm kind of short on space when it comes to actual food storage. And these things are like not like sweets except for maybe the Belgian waffles. <laughs> um, but I do eat those with breakfast sometimes. They're really bad for you, but they're so good. Um, some raisins, just some nuts and some bananas, um, just things that are not terrible for you. So I like to have those more readily available. And then I moved the backup spices actually to this cabinet and I moved the water bottles down here and the, the coffee bottles down here so that I could easily get to them. Um, because I'm a little shorter, uh, my husband is about five foot ten, uh, but I am about five foot one. So that is quite a stretch for me. So I don't need to access those extra spices all the time. So if they're up there, I'm okay with that. That stuff is like extra soda stream stuff. Um, and then there is the teas that I just left there. That's totally fine. Um, and of, of course, I did not touch this. I just left it the same way it was. I liked it. Um, but I did 
moved some stuff in the pantry around a little bit, gave it a good clean. So uh, if you've seen my pantry video, um, it probably won't look much different, but here it is again, really quickly. I um, got the cans down here, got the dry goods here. We are short on all kinds of rice, except for the short grain brown. We have a lot of that, but um need to buy some new jasmine rice and some new batsmati rice. That's next on the list. Um, got some other dry goods up here. We got some panko, lots of panko actually, and some like wild rice pilaf, popcorn stuff. This is just miscellaneous, um, uh, what are these, condiments and the canned fishes. And uh, this is where I put the sweets. I put them actually in a thing labeled sweets. And um, we can just take these down and it's sort of snacky stuff. So it's like the second snack container. So basically for stuff like little um, Annie's bunny snacks and things like that. But these, these are the sweets. Uh, I don't have a sweet tooth myself. <laughs> um, so I don't eat a lot of sweets actually. And I think that we should keep these down to a minimum. I feel like whatever we should, we could fit in this box is whatever we have. So those are the sweets, uh, and, uh, and the bars and stuff and whatever. So that's up there. And I like, I kind of like it that it's in its own little like basket so that it just kind of fits up there. Um, this, this is like, uh, bars and cereals. I'm not really sure what's up with that, to be totally honest with you, because it's my husband's, but it's his his stuff and he's happy with that. Cereals are there. Um, some pasta stuff is at the very top, because to be, to be totally honest with you, we don't eat that much pasta, so um, it doesn't need to be super easily accessible. And um, got the sort of left over leftover sauces and spices up there that we don't touch very much in the backup. Almond milk is up there too, along with a random box of Cheerios. So that is the new pantry space. It looks uh, pretty neat and I'm very pleased. And this space looks a lot less cluttered and I'm very happy. Plus there is the new spice drawer action, which does look kind of messy on this side. I'm not going to lie, but you know what? We'll fix that later. We got one, you know, we'll solve one problem at, at a time. We did this. I think I did this project this summer. There's a video about it. I'll link it in a card. Um, it's not a very good video, but you know, it might be inspiring to you. Um, and I made this spice drawer a lot more functional and I think it looks really cute now. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick pantry refresh with me and I uh, hope you will subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey, it's Kay. Welcome back. If you're new here, hello. My name is Kay. I'm a professional home organizer and soprano here in the Boston area, and I'm here to inspire you to live a more organized life. I've been helping people get organized in their homes for seven years now, and one of the most favorite places I go and organize in people's houses is, you guessed it, the kitchen. It is the hub of the house, but it can become a disaster and not functional. So today, we are going to organize my new kitchen. So when I moved here about three months ago, I basically was just trying to solve the problem of having so many boxes in my apartment. And I kind of unpacked boxes and just put them in the cabinets. So I didn't really take the time to do the organizing. But now that I have a little more time, I'm gonna organize my kitchen today. And I'm gonna take you along on the journey along I'm give you some tips about how you can get your kitchen organized. So let's take a look at the disaster that is my kitchen. Well, it's not that bad, but uh, it doesn't really work as well as I'd like it to. So we're gonna, we're gonna fix it up today. And because we're all in lockdown, I can't go to the container store and grab stuff. Uh, I have to order it and wait a million years for it to come. So um, I probably won't have it look as perfect as it will be looking, you know, a few months from now, but I've got some organizing solutions kind of hanging out in that closet over there. So we can use what we have and see if we can make it a little better than what we've got right now. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up a little bit because we had breakfast and we still haven't cleaned up anything. So we're just gonna do that first. So um, I'm gonna put a podcast on and uh, get to scrubbing. Before you start organizing a space that's you know fairly established, I would take a few minutes and try to put away anything that you can put away and to make the space as least insane to start out with as possible. And that's why I cleaned up the kitchen and went ahead and did the dishes that were there. Boy, I had to scrub that day. There was some burnt bacon action at the bottom of the pan. My husband and I had had this discussion about uh, having too high heat underneath the pan, and I was beside myself with the scrubbing. I got my, my um, well, I'm scrubbing the the thing you, the splatter guard. That's, that's what it is, the splash guard. Um, my barkeeper's friend is my favorite thing in the world, but oh my gosh. The scrubbing 
I was exhausted. I wanted to give up. I wanted to run away. I wanted to leave. I wanted somebody else to do it for me, but I kept on going. And eventually I got all of the little burnt pieces of oil and bacon and all that stuff. I love bacon, but man, if you cook it at too high a heat, the burn, the burn on the pans and on the splatter guard, oh my goodness. But you guys, I got those pans so sparkling clean. I was so happy. And from then on, I could start my organizing project. Okay, I've gotten control of the mess in my kitchen and we're all clean and taken care of. And now I'll show you what the situation is and what we'll be organizing today. Oh, everyone say hi to Clover James. I heard him coming around the corner. Hello, aren't you supposed to be taking a nap right now? I think you are. So here is my beautiful new modern kitchen. <laughs> and as you can see, there's no handles on anything. So the first area that I wanna concentrate on is these four drawers. They don't look like drawers, but they are drawers. Um, I have organized some parts of my kitchen, like this little place where the pots and pans are, that's totally fine. However, this drawer, is a drawer in a drawer. So we've got the plates and bowls, but they're not like super organized. But we've also got this stuff going on here. So we've got some random stuff and then like the knives and forks and all that stuff and also the regular cooking knives. And um, then over here, we've got more prep things. And look at that mess. <laughs> Take a look at the mess. So we will be organizing all of this today is to try to store things where you use them and store like items together. So this drawer, she doesn't look too good. And also um, this drawer actually looks a little better, but I think that since this drawer is so deep, I'm gonna put some larger things in and put the shallower things in this drawer. So in this drawer, we've got kind of a prep, food prep situation. I use all of these things, um, love them all, but uh, I think it can be a little better, better organized. I do have some little like organizers in here from the last house, but of course they were not intended for this particular space. Hello. <laughs> and in this drawer, we've got um, a number of food storage organizing solutions, which I don't know, I mean, I think they're okay to hang out there. We've also got some serving plates and serving bowls, but I'm not really sure if that's the best place for them. We've also got another problem. We've got a couple of cabinet problems. So here is the one cabinet problem. So here's the situation. In our old house, this particular cabinet, because our kitchen was very similar, our sink used to be here in our old apartment, this was like similar, like cups and plate and, but it was also like bowls and plates and stuff like that. But we haven't set up the bar yet that is supposed to go over there. So we've got some items that would normally live in the bar in this cabinet, like these glasses and liquor <laughs> and the rest like martini recipes and stuff like that so and there look there's a shaker so i'm thinking if we set up the bar we can move some stuff out of here so that might actually be a good thing to do today this is the other interesting cabinet that hasn't really gotten a lot of my attention but is not that bad um we've got extra spices up there extra bowls and plates up there which i'm not really sure what's going on around and uh, mixing bowls and uh this is like a randomness like look it's like uh, packets of ketchup and stuff so um, and oh by the way if you're a mail a Marylander or you know a DMV -er, you know about this so I think those are the four spaces I'll be concentrating on today so uh, let's go so I'm gonna close this <laughs> and this okay I'm gonna start on these um, drawers first and I'm gonna need to probably mess around with all four of them because I think I'm gonna have to do a little crisscross applesauce thing with these guys. So, um, but this is a manageable amount of spaces to be messing around with. So when you're doing your kitchen, try to do it in zones. Um, and if you find something that needs to go to another zone, just sort of move it out and deal with it another time. So try to focus on like one little thing at a time, then you can, it'll give you a good momentum to keep on moving. So if y'all are new here, you know the drill is to take everything out first. So um, I'm gonna do that. I'm probably not gonna take the spices out, but I'll take everything else out and see what the deal is with um, these four drawers. So I'm gonna pop my headphones in and get to work. These are some drawer organizers. I probably will order another set of these, but I definitely 
think these are going to be useful in my project. So I'm going to use, leave these out. So just putting the timestamp on the screen to let you guys know how long this project was taking, it took quite a while, much longer than I anticipated. So I went to the closet to go grab my box of containers. Now, if you love organizing like me and if you're always doing projects, I recommend if you have like a regular stash of organizing materials rather they be like containers drawer organizers little things you've reused just gather them all together and keep them in a box and like put them in the basement or like the garage somewhere they always come in useful when I'm doing projects so this has been helping me out over the past few months I normally just keep this container around to you know help with stuff I have with clients but I haven't seen any clients in person for the past few weeks so I'm just using it to help myself <laughs> And I always start the process by sorting items by category and function. So in my kitchen, like items go with like items and items tend to be stored where I want to use them. So it's fun coming across these bins that were in my last apartment. This one had popcorn stuff in it and now it's, it's being reused. So I'm going to just like wipe that off. It was on there with like some uh, marker that is, I think it's a water-based paint marker and it just comes off with some water so let's, let's do the other side very satisfying this can be a really intimidating process and just like you and everyone else out there I got really intimidated for just a, a quick second but just keep on going you'll get there okay everything I want to organize is out of the drawers and I put some of my organizers over here and some are within the stuff but I tried to zone out the stuff so we've got like measuring stuff um, utensils, tools, food prep stuff, and um, I'm gonna try and get a hold of the zones. So the first thing I'm gonna do though is probably line the bottom of these drawers with some liner so that'll stop stuff from going everywhere. So let me see what I've got in my utility closet. I don't, I don't know if I have enough. A drawer liner or a cabinet liner can make all the difference between whether you hate a drawer or love a drawer. Um, this liner is awesome because it prevents stuff from sliding around and I only had enough to do the one drawer really, or maybe one and a half, but I'm gonna order some more, don't you worry. Okay, I only had enough liner to do like two drawers, but that's a good start. Um, and I think I'm gonna see what I can do now, yay. This was a really tough part. Um, I kept the camera running, but I sped it up much faster than I've sped up anything in my entire life here on YouTube. But as you can see, there's a lot of trial and error going on and a lot of sort of Tetrising going on. And that's really what it takes to organize a bunch of small items. And as you can see, I have a lot of drawer space, but it I only really have, I guess, six drawers. I have two of those tiny ones and four of those larger ones and it was really difficult to decide what goes in what, but my main goal is to say that like items go with like items and I want items stored where I use them. So I put all my prep items together and all of my utensils together, everything I need to like cut items together, squeeze, <laughs> um, pulverize, you know, those kinds of things. So categories is always the way to go. Okay, it's been a little while and I am done. I think I'm gonna make this a part one and a part two because it's just so much. Um, and I'm gonna take a little break and then go back and do the part two. But um, this is what I've done so far in the drawers and I think it's gonna work really well. So I'll show you what I've done. So here is the first drawer. So I've got some spices out. I'm gonna put those up there and I'm gonna solve that issue. But in this prep drawer we've got a little more order so this is all like the little prep items and i really like how this came together with whatever containers i had it does look a little like kind of crazy with all the clear stuff <laughs> sticking out but um it's organized enough for me so that i can find things and um so i've got some prep bowls i've got all the measuring things here uh food scales squeezing things uh mixing things and then a number of other like random things and in this drawer the spice drawer i was very happy i will organize the spices later and i have to um, redraw the names on these but um i'm happy with the way that it is right now <laughs> by the way my friend jason came over and gave me well he didn't come over but he dropped off some spices for me because he got all these extra spices and he because he saw i needed um a spice on what on a facebook post and he was like hey i'm going to my parents house you want if i drop off some spices because he's a great cook he was actually on um 
He was the first runner up on MasterChef a couple of years ago. So um, some of you guys might know him, but he included this like super cute little note to let me know what they are. And I'm, I've used up one of them, um, but I am very excited to use up the rest of these. These are like more exotic spices. He's got all the things I need. He's the sweetest person in the world, you guys. <laughs> anyway, um, and so this is where I put utensils and like little smaller utensils. And I also put the Reynolds wrap and the plastic wrap there, which we don't use very much, but this drawer has a lot more space in it now. So, cause this is all the stuff that was sort of awkwardly shaped, um, but it's also for food prep and um, the oven mitts and all that stuff is there. So now I can just grab it and it's not so intrusive. And in this drawer, well, I didn't do anything with this yet, but I will soon in the part two. Um, I rearranged all of the drawer organizers and this was really hard, you guys. I spent a lot of time moving stuff around, like Tetrising stuff up, and I managed to get a good deal going. Now, this is probably gonna move because it's like all the wine opening things, but it can stay there for now. I've got a little drawer organizer and I got all the wine like keeping bottle spouts and all that stuff there. But everything for drinks is here, like the milk frother and the, the um, cocktail mixer and the straws and the, their cleaning items. And then we've got the normal utensils and then the knives. So all things utensils are here. So we've got all like items together. This is a mess. I'm gonna order some stuff <laughs> and I'll make that drawer a lot more organized. So that is the end of part one of uh, organizing my kitchen. I It took much longer than I thought it was going to take because I just was like getting down to the details. If it's stuff is taking much longer than you thought, don't fret, don't freak out, just break it into parts. So I'm gonna take a break and then we're gonna do a part two. Could be the same day, could be the next day. Don't know, we'll see how I'm feeling today. I hope you guys are having a great morning, great afternoon, great evening, wherever you are. And I'll see you in the next one, bye. Hey guys, it's Kay, welcome back to my channel. And today I am tackling the big bear project that I have been avoiding for the past month that is organizing my messy pantry. When we were moving about a month ago, I unpacked boxes and I just stuffed stuff in. That is the name of the game when you are moving, just empty boxes and shove them in. So that's what I did and we've been operating like that for a month and it's been really annoying. So I really want to install some pull-out shelves for this pantry because it's very, very deep. So as you can see, it's like 23 inches deep. It's so deep. I needed to install four pull-out cabinet shelves on the bottom and on the shelf above it. Now, I was kind of scared because this requires me to uh, secure the shelf to the bracket so it doesn't come free when you pull out the cabinet shelf. So I pulled one of the brackets free and took it to the hardware store so that an employee could help me uh, pick out some appropriate hardware and I charged my drill so it didn't poop out on me like it did when I was installing those Elva closets. Still bitter about that. They sold me these awesome wood screws and told me these should be the right ones for the job so I was ready to go. The first order of business always when you're organizing a space is to take everything out of it no matter how intimidating this process may seem. It sucks, but you gotta do it. You gotta be able to see your space empty and you have to be able to see everything that you actually have in the space. I'm getting ready to vacuum. I'm insane as you guys can see because there for some reason was like some sawdust and stuff in the cabinets. I suppose these are new construction problems. I don't know. Anyway, I had to vacuum and then I got out my cool new cabinet shelf. I bought uh, five of these 20 inch pull out cabinet shelves from the container store. I will link them down below if you want to go ahead and purchase them for your own space. Uh, I think you can get them on Amazon as well. Anyway, I had this little alignment card that came with them to help you install them straight and install them into the right place in the cabinet. I found that the little two inch gap between the front and the edge of the cabinet was not enough, so I did back it up maybe a half an inch more. Um, so that I found was the right amount of space, but you know, your mileage may vary with your cabinet. <laughs> anyway, taking out stuff, and I was also trying to figure out which shelf the KitchenAid mixer was gonna go on because that was the tallest item I had, so I had to move uh, a couple of, sh I had to move the shelves in order to accommodate the tall items and I wanted, but I just, I wanted the shelves to be uniform 
through both cabinets. I didn't want to have sort of, you know, different heights. It, it just didn't seem right to me. So I wanted the bottom shelf to be where I put all of the tall items. And uh, I had a lot of fun, as you can see, adjusting the shelf to the right height. I took a long time to try and do this. I, it's just a mess. I'm a mess. But I did figure it out eventually. I did come to a good height between the shelf and the actual pullout because the pullout will raise up the shelf a couple of inches. So I just had to move them both to accommodate all of the tallest items that we had. And then I wiped everything down with a cleaner because for some reason, again, they were dirty. So now it was time for me to actually install these pullout shelves, which again, kind of scary i don't think that i'm that handy even though you guys tell me that i'm handy i don't think that i'm handy i am kind of scared but learning new things i think is really important and make it makes you feel really confident in other areas of your life so here i am securing the brackets to the shelf so that i could install pullouts i had a not a fun time doing this i'm gonna be totally honest because sometimes i needed to try this more than once on the different brackets it was super annoying but i got them all in there i got them all secured they are not going anywhere i'm gonna be 100 percent honest with you when i say that installing these pullouts was a little bit intimidating i feel like you know when you're learning something new or when you're doing something for the first time it's kind of scary but I was super proud of myself for having to uh, learn to install these guys and learning to just do this all by myself and not having to have anyone help me and it turned out great learning new skills and things can be really scary especially if your projects don't turn out the way that you wanted them or if you make some mistakes along the way but learning is a really important part i think of brain health especially i just want to keep those neural pathways fresh it's day two of pantry organization but first i had to do something extremely important good morning welcome to day two of pantry organization we're gonna go for a walk and then we're gonna go to the container store to grab some things. Oh my God, Clover, in a little bit, okay? I went to the container store and spent entirely too much money on many things for many projects. Don't worry about that. Uh, but the first order of business was to clean my very, very messy kitchen. My husband was a doll and made uh, shrimp tostadas for us last night but unfortunately I had not cleaned the kitchen so first we needed coffee to do this project because it is I am caffeine powered I don't know about you guys but like sometimes whoo, girl needs a good cup of coffee and a little bit of sweetener to go in there as well don't hate I like my coffee light and sweet how do you guys like your coffee leave a comment down below anyway I was looking back in the kitchen and I was like yo I don't want to do this because I don't like doing the dishes, but you know, we got to do that. That's something we got to do. To increase the hygge in my space, I wanted to light this beautiful candle from Anthropology that I'm obsessed with lately. It smells so good. You know, sometimes if you're going to do some projects, it might as well smell good in your house. You know, I love those Anthropology candles. I am addicted to them. It's a problem. I don't know what it is, but they smell so good. Woo! Anyway cleaning out the dishwasher, cleaning out a stasher bag, <laughs> which they don't seem to get dry in the dishwasher. I don't know what the deal is. I think silicone or silicone and plastic does not seem to get dry in the dishwasher. It's very annoying, uh, but you know, these are first world problems and I could definitely take a towel and dry it off. <laughs> I hate doing the dishes. I say this every time I do the dishes, but I do, I can't stand it. It is the worst, one of the worst chores that I could possibly be doing. I'm still very much getting used to this sink in the kitchen island instead of over sort of one slot away from the stove, I suppose. If I'm thinking of it in like Sims building terms, I'm obsessed with building in the Sims, you guys. I don't know if any of you guys played The Sims 4. I think some of you do, but I am obsessed with building houses in The Sims 4 and making characters and then making their lives difficult. I don't, it's, it's a problem. 
I have a family that I'm playing right now where their lives were just too idyllic and sweet. Uh, they were getting along too well. They were making too much money. And so I, their child was too perfect, so I gave them uh, the unfortunate gift of twins with the fussy trait, and their lives now are very difficult, and I'm having much more fun. <laughs> anyway, I was uh, very happy to have all the dishes done because I hate having a dirty kitchen because I needed to, again, to take everything out of the pantry when I was completing this project to have everything in a zone so that I could really concentrate on what was going on in there. So let's take a look again at the hot mess that is our pantry. Actually, it's not too bad, okay? After I had moved some stuff around in there yesterday, it's not too bad, but still is really overwhelming. And believe me, guys, the first thing you need to do is take a deep breath when you start any of these projects because I know that they may seem overwhelming. You don't might not know where to start, but I'm going to tell you the first step always is just bite the bullet and take everything out. That's really the first and most important step. It's going to be annoying. It's going to suck. You're going to hate your life, but after the project is done, you're going to feel so much better. Taking everything out can give you a lot of good forward momentum because sometimes you can get really stuck looking at all of the stuff in there. You're going to be like, oh my gosh, I don't even know. Just start. Just take stuff out. Go crazy. When you're organizing and cleaning out a pantry, you're going to come across a lot of foods that are expired or you haven't eaten in a while or haven't seen in a long time. So make sure you have an empty trash can so that you can just throw some stuff in the trash. We didn't actually have that much expired food, um, although the stuff really had just been sitting in boxes in our temporary space for three months. We didn't open many of our pantry boxes because we were just cooking those Amazon box meals, etc., etc., and Home Chef. So we hadn't really been using this stuff. It's just It was just with us in our temporary kitchen. So a lot of it was still good, but some of it had gone off, so I was just separating the good stuff from the bad stuff and putting everything into categories because, again, I had just shoved everything from boxes inside of the pantry, which was really, um, a, it's a good strategy for getting boxes unpacked, but it's a bad strategy for organizing. So I was inspecting all of the expiration days, making sure everything was all good, and then putting things into categories. I had a baking category, a dry goods category, a snack category, and a canned goods category, and like a miscellaneous category. So that is also important when you're organizing a pantry is to make zones for whatever works for your family and for your lifestyle. Like maybe you don't eat fresh foods and you don't have fresh foods in your pantry. I mean, that might not be the best decision for your life, but like, you know, it might not, it might be your life. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I went to go and try to organize our canned goods and I was doing some experimenting. I had bought this bamboo shelf from the container store and I was like, hmm, I wonder if I can stick this guy in because he was kind of the perfect height to fit on top and like put stuff there. So I was trying that out and that's ultimately something that you'll do when you're organizing a space, when you're figuring out solutions, is just experimenting. You might not use what the, you know, you might not use what you're experimenting with, but it can help you figure out your space. I actually didn't even use that lazy Susan that's sitting there after in the end after all. Um, so, but experimenting and playing it by ear is part of the process. Don't feel bad, just try whatever. Okay guys, it's like almost three o'clock and I am done for now. Now, as I uh, probably have said in the voiceover that I anticipate doing, uh, this is like phase one of this project. I will probably end up redoing this at some point because I'm a crazy person and I like to do my projects in stages, but this is phase one and it has gotten to an operable point so we can like find things and cook dinners and not have it be like, kind of a crazy deal, which it has been for the past month, which has been driving me absolutely bonkers. But I think it turned out kind of cute and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. Let's go look at it.
So the most difficult thing about this space is actually the depth. That means the measurement from front to back because it is so deep. I feel like it's like 20 some odd inches deep, maybe 22 or 23. Um, there's just a lot of margin for error when it comes to looking for things because I have general rule that says you get into trouble when things are in the back or on the bottom and a very deep space can create all kinds of issues, hence the um, pullouts. At some point I may consider installing pullouts on the upper shelves, but uh, for now this is totally fine. So we'll do uh, a little tour of the space. Now, as you guys see, I installed these pullouts. I think the company that makes these is called Link. I will link everything that I can below so that you guys can purchase it. Um, and uh, you know make your own space really beautiful uh, hashtag affiliate links though so they will give a kickback to the channel thanks for supporting if you don't you know you can just google the name and uh, find it yourself oh uh, Saint Clover has come hello you just had to be at the end of the video didn't you anyway we'll start on the bottom here this is uh, appliances and uh, my husband actually had this idea of having all four of these be just appliances and not food because they're kind of low and I kind of agree with him on that he is great for some organizing tips because I was going to make like one side food and one side appliances and he was like, no, don't do that. Here's the idea. I have a link. Oh, that's kind of brilliant. So we've got um, our food processor, the KitchenAid mixer and the mixing attachments, the um, ice cream attachment and the little tiny mixer back there. I mean, not, not mixer, but tiny food processor back there. And I have my food processing attachments attached to this knife thing back there. So that's a really cool hack if you're looking for a way to store those. You, can, you, know, you don't have to like have them. They're kind of awkward to store and I don't, you know, I don't want to put them inside here. So this works really great. On the next shelf, we've got uh, the toaster, which, you know, my, this is my husband's toaster. He's had it for a long time and one day we're going to get like a nicer toaster, you know, like, like real talk. But I just want to point out that it's got a Pop-Tarts setting. No Tino shade, pop tarts sometimes hit the spot. Anyway, we've got our um, steamer in here. And you know what? I got the steamer for $4 at Goodwill. It came with all the parts for some reason. And this steamer is a workhorse. Like I'm never letting this baby go. $4 at the Goodwill. We love her. She does a great job. I think I've had it for like, man, like 10 years maybe. This thing is awesome. I've got my little rice cooker. That's awesome. And we actually have a hot pot. So um, we're gonna have hot pot at home one of these days. See, it's got a little split, so you can have two different um, soup bases, but yeah. So if you guys have never had hot pot, it's like sort of a Asian, I think in Japan they call it shabu shabu, um, but it's basically you make a soup and you can cook all your vegetables and meat in there and like pull them out a la carte. It's so fun and it's definitely an event. On this side with the appliances, we have the slow cooker, which, now that I'm seeing it, I'm like, yes, I want to use you because I haven't seen my slow cooker since October, of course, because that's when we moved. Making some chili might be a great idea tomorrow. Oh my gosh. You guys, when the slow cooker comes, like when you use the slow cooker, your house smells good for like eight hours. It's like simultaneously the best and worst thing at the same time because you're like, oh, I want to eat it. But it's like you got eight hours to go. Oh, anyway, we have our juicer. We have a slow masticating juicer. Not a dirty word, but sounds like a dirty word. And my husband's ninja is back there. So that is in the bottom uh, left. Can't tell my left from right. And in the uh, sort of bottom-ish <laughs> left, but the top portion, that sounds so dumb. We've got our food storage containers. So I sort of got rid of all the, the gross ones that we weren't using, like the plasticky sort of not great ones. So we've got mostly glass. Um, so this is glass and we've got little ones here and um, some bigger ones there. These are like some cute ones that I keep just for funsies, but um, whoa. But we've got mostly um, glass ones and we really like those. And we also really like these stasher bags. Like my husband and I are nuts about these stasher bags. So right now I'm keeping them in this little bin. It says cut veggies because usually that's in the refrigerator, but it's in here for now. These stasher bags are the greatest thing since sliced bread. They're silicone bags that you can use as a plastic alternative so you don't use Ziploc bags. And um, you can microwave them, you can cook in them, you can like stick them in a pot and boil stuff in them, which I guess is sous vide. And then you can freeze them. They're just, the, oh, they're the greatest. So stasher, 
if you see this video and you want to sponsor me, I'm, I hit me up because I love your products. <laughs> anyway, we also have this shelf here. I have to stop talking every time the train goes by because it's pretty loud, but it's very soothing actually. I like hearing the train. <laughs> but um, anyway, this is our basically our can area for canned goods and sauces and things like that. I put um, some a couple of tomatoes here and like bananas, just some random stuff. But like, these are my husband's sort of like mixes. I don't really like mess with this stuff. He like puts this in his water and I guess has a great time. But like, and he's got this like Mediterranean herb that he likes to make in his, he likes to mix it with yogurt and make a dip um, and eat like celery and stuff with it. So um, he's actually a pretty healthy snacker. He's, he's like a recovering like, you know, junk food addict, I think. So um, he's been doing pretty good with that. And but we've got our all of our cans and stuff back here, all of our canned goods. And this is the first time in a long time I've been able to extend this like all the way. Um, but it's really great to have a step organizer for your canned goods so you can see exactly what is going on. And so nothing is really, really in the back. Um, I know it's kind of triggering for having my, my coconut milks like just stacked, but like whatever, I had the height, I can do, you know, I can do whatever. So I think I have to eat my trout and salmon pretty soon because I think they expire this year, but um, sometimes I like to have these on salads and stuff. Anyway, we're not talking about that. We're just talking about the organization. And um, this little bin, these little bins, these Yamazaki bins, they turned out great. They were super expensive, but they're gorgeous. And I love them, oh my gosh. Anyway, this side, we've got sort of like food food. So. This is the, I'm gonna move this avocado. This is the snack bin of like snack heaven. This is mostly my husband's snacks. Where's the train? She's so loud this afternoon. Anyway, these are like just snacky foods. Like we've got some pepitas here. We've got some cookies, some candy canes from Christmas. Uh, I guess we're gonna eat, but like just snacky snacks. And um, here we've got some uh, potatoes and onions and garlic and that's kind of where that hangs out and then my husband is crazy like insane popcorn guy so he got all of his popcorn here that I decanted from those uh, sort of not attractive store containers um, and then some paper bags back there where he can make his popcorn he's got a popcorn maker actually but he can use that if he's in a pinch or something so you know whatever they're there and we got some crackers and my lone avocado that is probably gonna be eaten uh, within the next day because the uh, avocados don't last very long in our house. Uh, oh, we also have the bread box. <laughs> it actually has bread in it and um, some raisins. <laughs> and uh, up here, we've got the uh, Clover dog area. So we've got all of Clover's treats and stuff and his kibble. Um, so my husband was very insistent that like Clover's food was not with our food. I mean, I don't care, but like, whatever. So he's got his own area, he's special.com. There it is, Clover's area. And for the first time, I've actually put some cookbooks here so they can actually get used. Um, and in the back, I think is like Clover's like backup stuff too, it's like his just little like snackies and like um, food containers and things for when he goes to like, you know, stay at other people's houses. But um, I was very excited to find, well, when I worked at the container store, I saw these little like placemat holding shelves, you know, in the store for the longest. And I was like, who would buy this? And then I'm like, wait, I need that. <laughs> so it's a little shelf that you can put on top of, you can slide it in, you know, one of your pantry shelves and it holds all of your placemats. And it's also holding our, this is like a, a little like eating tray that I use sometimes and the little thing for the microwave so you don't burn yourself. So um, I'm very excited to actually have a use for that shelf. So yay, go me. This was the most difficult because um, it's so deep and my containers are not very big, but this is the dry goods area and the backup area. So here we've got sort of cereals happening. We've got um, all the rices and lentils and things like that. And in the back, there is some stackable action, which makes things so much easier. So these um, metal baskets are stackable. And um, back here we've got back stock, which is like extra things that need to be decanted in here when they're empty. So right now there's not very much because we just moved and this is our pantry from when we moved before and we didn't buy food when we were living in the temporary house. Um, and pasta. Um, on the top is stuff I rarely use and also the distilled water collection. So the stuff I rarely use is da -da -da -da, baking stuff because your girl is more of a cook than a baker. So um, 
that's where that stuff goes. And up here, we just have extra food storage containers, extra, um, I guess my husband's smart water and his like soda stream business because he's got a soda stream machine here. Here is the finished pantry. I'm very, very pleased with it. And it looks like we can function. And that was basically the outcome that I wanted is we can function um, because it's been kind of crazy here with the messy pantry. So the way that it looked before was really crazy, but it was just like opening boxes and putting things in. That was like, that was the process. And now here we actually have little zones where we can find things and it looks, I think it looks really good. So, so let me know if you guys have any pantry hacks that you guys have that you use in your deep pantry to make it not so uh, incredibly deep and crazy. But um, I think I'm happy with the way that this turned out. And of course I will probably do it again in uh, six months. <laughs> I hope that you found this video inspiring for your own space and I hope that you enjoyed today's video. And I So today we're doing a fun project. I have just returned from the container store with a few alpha bits and pieces to finish our closets in our apartment uh, because uh, it's, it's, it's fun. So normally when I organize pantries, I'm not wanting it to look like super glam, um, but today I want our pantry to look like nice. So here is the way the pantry looks right now. Um, yeah. So we did put alpha shelving in here, but it's got like the ventilated shelving um, and two of those shelves don't even have liners. So I think I'm gonna keep one of those ventilated shelves and I'm gonna replace the rest of them with solid shelving. We do have um, some leftover solid shelving from our condo and I'm gonna reuse that in here. I also got an additional shelf to replace this one. I am gonna put this one in, in another place uh, I'm actually gonna put it in the coat closet over there. So, um, you know, everything's gonna get reused. A couple of these, I'm not sure what's gonna happen to them, um, but I'm just gonna keep one or two maybe, probably just one. Um, but I think it's gonna look so much better when I finish with it because right now it doesn't look too bad. Well, I mean, I really just stuck things in here. When I, when I unpacked our pantry, I just stuck stuff in here and it doesn't look like as cute and as fabulous as I want it to look. He's like, can I have these chips? Can I have these chips? No, you cannot have those chips. So I want it to look really cute and I am going to probably get rid of the bread box because that's just causing us grief, let's be honest. But everything else is probably gonna stay. So I'm gonna make this look extra cute today and I'm very excited. This project was so much fun because not only was the pantry functional after I finished it, it was also really beautiful. And I haven't really focused on that in the past. I had kind of just wanted to get things functional and practical, um, but for, for a change, I just wanted it to also look really pretty. And I think that I did a really good job. So you guys can be the judge of that at the end of the video, but I really like the way that it turned out. If you are organizing your pantry, the main thing you wanna do is after you take everything out and have thrown away all of your expired food because that is something you will always find in a pantry, you will always find that can of, of green beans that got away from you, is you wanna set up zones that work for your family. Maybe you wanna set up a snack zone or a canned goods zone or a sauces zone or you know a dry goods zone, things that work for your family depending on whether you cook a lot, whether you eat prepared foods more, it depends on what you're doing and who is living with you. But once you establish those zones, the things you use the most, you wanna put immediately at arm's length or like chest length where you can grab it. And the stuff that gets used less often goes on top or in a place where it's harder to grab. So I had so much fun with this and I can't wait to show you the end result. To yell at me tonight, baby Can we see this as a lesson? Then maybe we should open up the sorrow Okay, progress report. Everything um, is off the shelves. So I've been cleaning out some containers and I'm definitely gonna reuse these for something else. Um, Cause we've been like playing the game where we have like some of our dry goods decanted, but like, not all of them. Like what's that? Um, I'm Definitely gonna have to clean this. It's filthy. It's I've had this for like 10 years and it's just filthy. So I'll give it a little bit of a spit shine and hopefully it'll look great after that. Look at the little like stains on there. Um, so we're just gonna spruce that up a little bit and um, everything is like out. <laughs> it looks chaos, guys. 
the Roomba. It's my birthday in about 20 days, so uh, my husband got me a birthday present, but it came super early. <laughs> um, this is my birthday present. I will be unboxing this in another video and trying it out. Um, I'm very excited. You guys know that I don't spend money on like fancy bags and like designer clothes and stuff. This is where the money goes in this house. I'm very excited. I'm very excited because this one empties itself. I don't want to have to deal with the um, the dust bin anymore. Like huge hassle. No thanks. Can't wait to use you. Very excited. So I'm definitely gonna have to move some stuff off the floor. We just have some like of our spirits on the floor because our bar isn't hung yet. It goes right above the console there and we just haven't done that yet because that is something that is uh, scary for us and every time we do it, we like have a fight. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Look at this one. So I took the shelves out of my husband's office. They're ready to put up and here's the other shelf that needs to go over the drawers that's 16 inches deep. Um, that's a, there's also a closet rod on here for our closet so I can finish a closet so I can do that today as well. But um, I'm gonna take a break for lunch. So I'll be back soon with the rest of the project, but I thought I would stop and let you know how it's going. I'm, on the top here, I just put like some, um, some food storage stuff that is, it gets, it gets used, but like since we haven't, it's been five days since we got our groceries, so like all the kale and stuff has been eaten, so that's up there. And um, I just gotta put the solid shelves on and glam this up. I'm very excited. Oh, I'll show you what's in the drawers. Well, we did, we did have like um, potatoes and onions in this drawer. We got like our, wraps and things like this and they're short it's kind of it's really just thrown in here We've got food storage in the drawer, and oh 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 the triple sec the triple sec in the vodka we've got um kitchen linens oh isn't that a mess in that drawer so i'll have to uh neaten that up a little bit but that's this has been working pretty well for us um and this some uh you know things on the floor like the mixer and the the uh, hot and hot pot? No, the, <laughs> the slow cooker. So those can live there. I have no problem with that, but definitely gonna put some phasia on these shelves and the toaster can hang out there too as well. I don't really care about the toaster. We don't use the toaster every day, but um, yeah, it's looking pretty good. And I'm gonna go ahead and alphabetize the spices, I guess, and fix the door and wall rack situation. Well, that's empty up there. What goes up there? Don't know. Anyway, there's Clover Streets and stuff like that. <laughs> Look, he's got his like, his his bully sticks yesterday. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. All right, lunch is here. I'm gonna grab it and eat it and I'll be back later. Bye. All right, after lunch, it was time for me to unpack my big ol' alpha decor shelf. This was the only shelf I bought for this project from the container store. Um, these shelves are actually pretty expensive, I have to be honest, but I just bought the one shelf for this project, so I figured it was worth it to make the pantry look really nice because we had had the other three shelves from my husband's office that we bought, you know, a long time ago. So I was like, why not reuse those and just buy the one shelf of the project and, you know, call it a day. I forgot that these shelves don't use center brackets, so <laughs> I had to take them off. Um, the center brackets are actually just there to separate the drawers from the shelves on the right. So I had to take those off and put that shelf back in there so it could be securely in there. These three foot shelves are actually pretty lightweight and strong. I think they do have a, they have a honeycomb interior, so they don't have that much weight to them, but they're very, very strong and can hold a lot of weight. Um, it's a little tricky to get them in the brackets. You have to be really careful, but once you, once you get them in there, they are in for life. Um, well, not for life, you can take them off, but <laughs> they're in there. I I was so impressed by how it instantly made the pantry look. I was just so happy when I put that first shelf in. So I put all three of the others in that were in my husband's office before. <laughs> um, and now I'm reusing them in the pantry and they looked so pretty, you guys. I was like, oh. I was so excited. I got a little bit of cleaner to clean these up because they had been holding some books before and now they were gonna be holding our food. So gave them a little bit of a shine, a little bit of a scrub down before I put our food back in. And I really, really love the look of these alpha white decor shelves. They just look so good. For the ventilated shelves that I left in, I put in some fascia and Normally fascia just clips onto the shelf and it's super easy and you slide this little plastic thing on, but for this particular 
particular piece of fascia, it was not working out and I think it's actually defective. You see, I was like checking the instructions. Like I felt crazy. Like I was like, am I doing this right? And, but I mean, I was, I just, and I got, I got an old alpha clips to try and put those on. And I think this piece of fascia is defective. So I stuck it on there with some tape for the video, but I think I will exchange this for another piece of fascia when I go back to the container store, probably like next week or so, because I put the other one on with no problems. So I think that piece of fascia is an outliner outlier and I'll just return it and exchange it for another one. The great thing about container store is if, you know, if you, things aren't working out, you can just take it at back. So I think that this piece of fascia is, is not it y'all. It's not it. Here's the space before we put the food back in. I do still have the clips from the closet made shelving in there because we're gonna put that closet made shelving back into the space when we move out because this is a rental. Um, if you live in a rental and you want to install custom shelving, you probably will be able to just ask your landlord, make sure it's okay. In some cases, your landlord may actually want to negotiate with you to buy that shelving when you move out. Um, or in our case, they just want us to put the old shelving back. So um, you can definitely customize a rental, just need to discuss it with your landlord make sure everything is all good all Gucci anyway I just uh, was focusing on decanting some of my dry goods that we didn't decant and I get a lot I get asked a lot about my opinion on decanting dry goods and I do think it's a really good investment of your time and money to decant dry goods because a you can see exactly how much product you have in these clear containers B you can save space because a lot of these clear containers are modular so you can stack things on top of one another. Um, the other thing I get asked a lot is how can you tell what, how to cook the, these, the thing inside the container, like say if it's rice um, or barley or something, or and how can you tell when it expires because you've removed the original packaging. What I do is I have a sticker from a company called, well, it was called Label Once, but it's not called that anymore. I will link it down in the description below for you to check out. Um, but it's an erasable uh, label that you can stick on the bottom of the container. And on the bottom of the container, I'll write really simple cooking instructions, you know, like ratios about like, especially with rice, like one cup of water for you know half a cup of rice or whatever um, and I'll also write the expiration date we go through so many of these dry goods uh, that we don't actually usually need to be mindful of these expiration dates a lot but if you do need to be aware of these expiration dates you can write them on the bottom of the container just next to the instructions and I find that that's really helpful these um, labels can actually go through the dishwasher or they can be washed and they don't actually come off the container. Just give them 24 hours to set on the container before you put them in the dishwasher, but they're really, really helpful. And those are my thoughts on decanting and how to label your containers. Okay, I'm done and it took a little bit, but I will show you what's going on in there. Much, much better, a huge glow up. I love it. Okay, so our new organized pantry, it looks so much better than it did before and I'm so much happier. So let's start from the bottom up. This is, um, we got back, we got some of the vinegar down here. I got my step stool. I got the backup food. <laughs> I mean, not really backup food, but this container just contains like some back stock. So we've got some, you know, cornmeal, some, um, actually I should probably put this in a more airtight situation. Hello? We got some beans, we got some rice, we got just things that were kind of extra that were hanging out, um, but that is gonna live right there for now. And then we've got the slow cooker and the KitchenAid mixer there. Hello, hello, Mr. Clover. You've come out for the video? You've come out for the end of the video? Well, hello. Here, this 
fascia actually is not on correctly and I think I may need to exchange this for another piece of fascia because it, it wouldn't it wouldn't clip um, so something is wrong with this fascia so I may bring that back but I put it on there for now just for looks but um, we've got sort of the onions and potatoes right here in these baskets I also have some tomatoes hiding out here I actually used some tomatoes that we had last week so I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do with those tomatoes this week maybe I'll just make a little pico de gallo or some action or something I don't know anyway we got the appliances there hanging out we got the rice cooker and the toaster I want to get one of those nice fancy toasters I've been seeing that for like a couple of years now but haven't done it so far but I uh, I reorganized oh I'm sorry Clover my goodness I reorganized the kitchen linen drawer and it's a lot better <laughs> and then um, somewhere in the wash right now we've got food storage number one drawer and food storage number two drawer this is like the flatter sort of tinier food storage and like all these little like things that go on citrus fruits you know those are fun and then of course we've got the kitchen paper and clips full things and some parts of the the rice cooker as well and then on this shelf we've got a uh, pasta and <laughs> my husband bought these from Trader Joe's so I hope that he eats them soon <laughs> um, but then we've got also um, snacks we got a little cereals down here with some oatmeal I'm glad I actually I didn't I, I forgot we had had these I'm glad they're out I can see them I'm definitely gonna eat them in the morning we got nuts we got almonds and pistachios and peanuts are back there so we like to eat a lot of nuts for snacks and we also have some more snacky snacks we got some pirates booty and some other chips back there and um, there's popcorn back there too. Husband is the popcorn king. Um, but we love these, uh, I think they're called the Tosca baskets from Yamazaki. Yamazaki makes the most beautiful organizing solutions. The black ones are my jam. They're so pretty and they're kind of expensive, but they're totally worth it, I think. All right, next row, we've got the vinegars and other sauces, <laughs> but it's mostly vinegars. We've got, I mean, a random soy sauce there that is gonna get uh, shuffled into the fridge as soon as the other one get, uh, is empty, but we've got like rice wine vinegar, rice vinegar, brown rice vinegar, <laughs> what's this one? This is white wine vinegar. We've got tons of vinegars that we cook with all the time because we are, um, we like to cook, as you can tell. We've got all of our cans here. We cleaned up the can organizer. It didn't look that much cleaner, but you know, it's a little cleaner. But we've got all of our canned goods here. And up here, we've got all of our dry goods. I know the labeling is inconsistent right now. I am working on it. That is a project for another day and another video. Um, but I do like this style. So I think I'm gonna just go with that because I think that goes with the whole vibe of the black with the natural, I don't know. Uh, but I did make these with my Cricut Joy, so I will be making more. But we've basically got all of our dry goods that we all like, always use. We got jasmine rice, brown rice, basmati rice. This is panko breadcrumbs. We always use panko. Um, this is bulgur, and this is lentils. We got some stuff behind it too, but that's the stuff we don't use as much. But I just wanted this to look a little consistent, so I did the. Everything is the same size in the front, and then here we've got some sauces and things that. Um, I mean, sauce mixes. We don't use these a lot, but I like to have them, you know, occasionally for fun stuff. And here we've got some more condiments and oils. We've got sesame seed oil. Um, oh, this one's, we got two because this one's about to be donezo. And then we've got our olive oil and we've got some spray olive oil, honey and peanut butter. And then up there, oh, excuse me, up there we've got some, it's basically like baking stuff. And then the rest of our dry goods are up there in cute little containers. I, I took everything out of its container and put it, I, again, with the labeling, I'm gonna get to it, but this is what we've got going on so far. And at the very top, we've got my leftover food storage containers that get put at the fridge when we get food deliveries and then they get washed when we use the produce. So that is where they live when they're not being used. So, oh, and on the side, we've of course got my aprons <laughs> and um, then we've got the step stool down there so everything is easy to see in use and within use and I love it oh on the side here we've got the wall, alpha door and wall rack we got the the placemats for eating we've got uh, Clover's area for all his treats and stuff and then we've got all the spices now this is not the best um, but I, I actually can see through and see the names um, but I was thinking about getting like uh, the wire 
baskets instead of the mesh baskets, but I, you know what? I actually can see the names of the spices through the mesh and it's not bad. It's a good temporary solution, uh, but they're, it doesn't matter. They're all alphabetized, mostly alphabetized. So it's easy for me to find them anyway um, because again, we, we cook a lot in this house and there's just some miscellaneous stuff on the bottom. Um, but I did get a new package of Szechuan peppercorns and I cannot wait to use these. I opened them to smell them and they, ooh, girl, they, they smell, get under there. They smell so strong and I cannot wait to cook with them. Do you guys like Szechuan peppercorns? Let me know down in the comment below if you like to eat things flavored with Szechuan peppercorns. Or you eat Szechuan peppercorns or you cook with them. Um, they're one of my favorite, um, this is one of my favorite spices to mess around with in the kitchen. All right, so we got like my pile of trash over here. It's not trash, things I'm still working on. So I think next I'm gonna go work on the closet because I got my closet rod hanging out underneath there. <laughs> and, um, but I really like the way that the pantry turned out. Let me know if you think the pantry had a glow up or not. I think she is glowed up. Girl, she look good. All right, you guys, look forward to the next video. I'll be doing my closet next. Very excited to sort that out. I hope you guys are having a great morning, great afternoon, great evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. So I'm in my kitchen today because today we're going to clean it up just a little bit. I'll show you the state of things. It's actually not that bad. Oh, I also brought some organizing things in from our storage that I was not using um, that like came out of our last apartment. So I have a little like cabinet shelf here, this little bin, a little tiny bin inside this bin. And like these things, I don't, well, I'm not going to use these hangers, obviously, but I might use this one, this one, and like these guys. So we'll see if I can repurpose them or if they're going to go back in storage. The king woke up. Sir, say hello to the people. Anyway, so it's, it's in flux, but I'll show you. Let's look at the fridge first. Okay, the fridge is actually not that bad, but I do think it could look better. We'll clean some things out. We'll put things in containers. It'll be pretty and organized, because look at this down here. Oh, we've got Clover's carrot here. Do you guys um, give your dogs carrots as treats? We do, he loves a good carrot. I'll cut some up for you right now, okay? Okay, are you ready? What? I got a little piece of carrot for you. You ready? Oh, yes, you're so good. You want to see? There you go. Yum. Oh, crunchy, too. Here's the pantry. Looking a little packed, not gonna lie. Um, some people do a lot of impulse shopping. We're not gonna sell. We're not gonna say who that those people are. What, what do you want? Do you want more carrot? You want more? Okay, you want more piece, okay? There you go. Might need some help as well. Actually, it looks pretty good. We'll just neaten it up a little bit. Okay, time to uh, zhuzh up the kitchen a little bit. I'm excited. First, we have to unpack the dishwasher and all that because like, you can't do it when there's dishes still in here. It doesn't make any sense. So upon editing this video, I realized that this is actually part of my routine. Either on Sunday night or Sunday morning or Monday morning, I pretty much go ahead and do a quick declutter and clean of the kitchen because like I like to say, the kitchen is a really dynamic space. Both of us are using it. Both of us are eating food, getting drinks, cleaning dishes, doing all kinds of things to it. And things kind of get a little bit out of control and out of place. So I find that once a week, doing a quick declutter and a quick clean of the space really can keep your whole kitchen and your whole house organized. And even things like cleaning the floor of crumbs, there's so many crumbs from the toaster in here that I thought this would be a good opportunity to clean those up. And I was considering some new organization solutions, uh, but ultimately I just went back to my old one and you know, did what I was doing before. I just put the toaster on top of the slow cooker for now. We don't have our big kitchen anymore, so we have to make some sacrifices for space, but I think what we've got going on is pretty good. The pantry was in pretty good shape. I did throw away some things that were, um, had mold on them, or they were just at the end of their rope, so I'd kind of just pop them in my mouth or something, <laughs> ate them, you know, like the last of the chips. And I did a quick reorganization in here to make uh, room for the produce and I actually decanted some things. Uh, weekly, 
is a good time to do your decanting you know during this process and i find that sometimes during the week some things sort of fall through the, the cracks like the brown sugar so i took that opportunity to go ahead and decant it and now when i need it i know where to grab it i actually cook with brown sugar quite a lot um i don't make baked goods but i find myself actually cooking with brown sugar a lot of the time like i either make a barbecue sauce or use it in a lot of dishes it's just it's a weird thing to have brown sugar for her as an adult. You know, when you were a kid, you associated brown sugar with like, you know, oatmeal or cookies, but nope, as an adult, it's like, that adds a little bit of sweetness to savory foods. I thought that was a really interesting thing. <laughs> anyway, I'm cleaning up a little bit, getting all the crumbs that I spilled off of the carpet. I love my Dyson vacuum. That thing has gotten me through so many hard times. It's so reliable. And last but not least, I needed to do a little bit of a spit shine to my cabinets. They get all kinds of grease on them and stuff from cooking and sauteing things and then a little quick job on the microwave as well, just to start the week out on a good note because that, that's it, it really sets the tone for your week if things are super dirty, you know what I mean? Or if like there's like grease stains all over everything. I had to do that and I had to do the fridge because I, it just bothers me when the fridge has a lot of like little stains and stuff on it. So um, do yourself a favor, favor and shine your fridge up right now. Just grab some rubbing alcohol and a microfiber cloth and go to town. Go in the direction of the grain like you see me doing here and you'll have a nice shiny fridge. Now it'll get fingerprints all over it again like it always does. But you know, for a half a day or so, you'll have a sparkling clean fridge. Hi, I'm back. I was working for a long time and I think I'm to the point where I can stop. So I'll show you what the pantry, the cabinets, and what the fridge looks like. So I got rid of um, anything that we weren't eating, anything that was like um, just almost done. I kind of like eat, popped it out of my mouth or checked it for freshness or whatever. But I think we have space to put things now. I kind of changed some things around. I spent a lot of time in this area actually just sitting here and trying to figure out what to do. My husband loves to buy like random watermelons during summertime and eat them. He loves it. And he bought a random tomato and stuff. So that's just maybe now for uh, extra produce storage instead of food storage. So I had to just zhuzh some things around. We still have the onions and garlic and potatoes there. Um, underneath we just have a little space for like spare beans it's just um like dried beans um so i did pare down on some of the dish towels and also microfiber towels since we only really use like these i just everything else is gonna go away and i figured out that this is probably a better way to store these in here. I don't know. I'll try it for a while. I'll try like wrapping these for a little bit and seeing, you know, what, uh, what is good. You know what? I lied because here are the extra beans. <laughs> here are the extra beans. These are just dried beans and like extra rice. What is in here? What did I put in here? Mystery. Oh, it's condiments. <laughs> Isn't that fun? It's just like packets. Wow, I sur I've been working so long I and doing so many variations that I surprised myself. Gotta make a mental note, huh? Anyway, this is just food storage. So we have our stasher bags here and our food storage containers. We have small food storage containers here. And this is just paper goods and little, you know, these little like clip thingies for bags. And everything else is basically the same, but I just neatened it up a little bit so it looks less insane. We tightened up the fridge a little bit. I actually love using this um, for like the dairy stuff so it can all be together so you can just take it out so we don't have to like move stuff out of the way to get to the yogurt because the yogurt gets eaten a lot in this house and we just have like almond milk and stuff in there too so that's cool we got some vegetables in containers this is our like leftover zone uh, we also have eggs there hanging out but have that egg container so we can store things on top of the eggs so we can use all the vertical space and the key to a fridge if it's not optimal like this is not 
like I would never buy this fridge, um, is to get stackable containers. That way you can do like a little modular stacking and it'll, you know, it'll use up a lot of the vertical space. These are Fresh Saver from OXO. I think they're called Fresh, Fresh Green Saver. I'm sorry. I keep saying Fresh Saver, but they're called Green Savers from OXO. And they are great for produce. This one has a little bit of uh, cauliflower in it. And then we've got one with cherries. And you can either have the vent open or you can have it closed. Open? Open for cherries, actually. So I'll have that open. Um, and that's basically dependent on whether or not your, your vegetable or fruit that you're storing likes humidity. So in this one, we have vegetables that like humidity. That's like any leafy green vegetable. And then in this one, we have vegetables that are ethylene producing or they don't care about ethylene, like citrus fruits and peppers don't care about ethylene. So I have a little ethylene sensitive uh, chart <laughs> that I made. You can download it for free on my website. I will put a link to it down below. Uh, we got meat, cheese, and butter. We Listen, my husband buys a lot of cheese. I don't know what's going on, but this thing full of cheese. I can't even get it out. Full of cheese, right? Full of cheese. Oh my gosh, it's a, it's a problem. And then look at here, full of cheese. What is happening? Kind of make some mac and cheese or something. Um, but anyway, this looks so much better. And on the side, we've got just drinks and condiments, pickles, all the pickles in the world that you would need, and um, sauces. So uh, we're good to go. We cook in this house. Can you tell we cook? We like to cook. In this cabinet, we made the biggest change because it's um, the drink cabinet. So we have broken a lot of glasses. So this is pretty much what's left <laughs> in our in our glass stable. We'll definitely need to buy some new tumblers uh, eventually, and we'll probably do that soon. I, I actually want to replace all of our mugs as well for ones that are all the same. So that'll be a project I'll do later. But this is what the cabinet looks like now. Coffee is important. Um, it's very important in our house. <laughs> and I actually have a monitor stand that I fit underneath here. And it, uh, it's doing some work down here with our pots and pans. So this way I, you know, I don't have to install custom pullouts. So I can just uh, have that for now. I miss my custom pullouts though. And all the lids are in this alpha drawer unit. So if I need a lid, that's where I go. Um, this is a great solution. If you live in a rental and you can't install pullouts, these are like the next best thing. They're kind of pricey, so I'd wait till uh, they're on sale, but I will put a link down below where you can buy them. Well, you can buy them only at the container store. They are container store exclusive. So if you don't have one where you live, I'm sorry, um, but that's where I got them from. And I gave everything a good scrub down and it feels really good to have like dishes in the dishwasher. I'm gonna turn it on, we're gonna run it. I'll have lunch really quick and then I'm gonna shoot the next video. So I hope this inspired you to declutter and clean your kitchen today, especially your fridge. Get in there and clean your fridge. It probably needs your help. All right, guys. I hope you're having a great morning, great afternoon, great evening, wherever you are. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. The first thing I do when I move into any space is unpack the flippin' kitchen so that you can have a place to eat and grab drinks and make coffee, most of all, because I need that first cup of coffee in the morning. I don't know about you all. But like, I love to wake up to a nice steaming hot cup of joe and that is essential. So it was imperative that I unpacked my kitchen. This is always the first thing I do when I move and I give that advice to everyone. You want to unpack the rooms essential for living. So that means kitchen, bathroom, and at least a bed, if not the entire bedroom, but at least a bed so that you can sleep and a bathroom so that you can shower and, you know, do other things in the bathroom that you need to be doing in the bathroom. Anyway, this took a really, really, really long time, but it was worth it to get this unpacked because our home chef box came that afternoon and we were able to make dinner in our kitchen that evening and the, you know, the next few nights. So it was just really nice to have that done.
warn clients when they're unpacking from moving just get items out of boxes and don't expect it to be perfect right away I mean do do as good a job as you can at arranging things but as you can see it's pretty much trial and error and once you get everything out of a box you can definitely tweak it but don't try to get perfect right away it's it's just too overwhelming just get everything out of a box Now you made it, but I already played this Not interested, open your eyes, let's get it done Take my hand, just follow me Shadow and me are one Alright, it is 3.30 and I've been I'm packing the kitchen for a little bit I think I'm almost done, I think I have like five more boxes maybe to go um, I'm just trying to navigate this cabinet. I, I can't take the shelf out. Maybe I can. Um, but I need to take the shelf out in order to fit the, the KitchenAid mixer. And also, uh, it looks like they never retightened these these things. I retightened this one, but like all the little screws are at the bottom <laughs> that came out of there. So all these are like flopping around. So I'm going to I'm gonna put those back on there and maybe I'll try to get the shelf out. Let's see what happens. All right, got it out. All right, this is great. Hmm. Oh, that works. I can fit something else in the front. That's awesome. So let me push this way back. Oh, sweet. So that can be like all the way to the back. Oh, nice. We love it. So in this one, I think I'm going to put all my baking pans because I have a lot of them. This is sort of a baking sort of area anyway. Maybe I haven't filled these drawers yet at all. So uh, that'll be fun. <laughs> so let me, uh, yeah, I'll just tighten these up and put my baking pans in. Okay, it's like 7.30 and I've been working like a dog all day <laughs> trying to get basic needs met. So basic needs when you first move in, for me, are functioning kitchen, functioning bathroom, and bed. So I could not find the shower curtain for the bathroom. I didn't, well I didn't remember what I had done with it. It was one of the last things I packed and it was in like an awful bathroom box. It stinks but we're gonna use it and I'll wash it tomorrow. <laughs> but at least we can take a shower because I haven't showered and I feel gross. But I did finish the kitchen and I'll show you what it looks like now. So ta-da, oh cord, ta-da, there's the clover bean. <laughs> but kitchen is completely unpacked. The bar is unpacked, I, I'm loving that. Um, so we have a now functioning kitchen and I'm very excited. Clover, are you excited too? It doesn't seem like you're very excited. 
you should be very excited because we have a functioning kitchen. Clover has his own little area right here. I haven't put his little sign here yet, but this is where he's gonna eat and do his eating, I guess drinking. <laughs> I'll show you what's happening in the kitchen in terms of this like cabinet here with the, the pans. So I really didn't realize how this works, but I think I can get this to work. My suspicion is that I'm gonna have to take off this shelf in order to make it function. So uh, we'll, we'll see. You better turn up You better be there when I shake Watch me rockin' if I can't stop If I should fall, just go ahead Go and catch me, baby Yes, I was totally confused about how pants were supposed to go in here, but I figured it out. They're supposed to go like this. So I just have to move this shelf up one, and I think we'll be golden. I'm very excited. the best like I feel like other things are supposed to go up front like smaller pans we don't have any smaller pans right now we should get some uh oh my Instacart's here I'll be right back okay my giant wine order is here <laughs> I just ordered a bunch of wine and um, I'm gonna put it up on the bar and it's gonna look really cute shelves are no longer empty <laughs> we got some wine in there I put three bottles also in the little wine fridge just to have something in there so um, I've never had a wine fridge before so it's really fun uh, don't pay attention to this this is just a mess but uh, that looks really cute and uh, we got a little bar going so uh, how fun Turn We've been living here now a few months and I never actually reorganized anything once I put everything away initially. It had been working really well. And here is the kitchen today. Uh, it looks pretty good and it's pretty organized, but there were some dust and crumbs that had fallen inside the drawers and in the cabinets. And I just wanted to clean everything up. So today I was gonna treat myself to a little bit of herbal tea, put on my comfy clothes and give my kitchen a little bit of love and I hope I motivate you to do the same thing. So the first thing I wanted to do was take out all the trash and recycling. I knew that I might actually be making some trash so I wanted to make sure that I had room to put the trash <laughs> when I needed to put the trash away. Here's the tea. Oh, it was so yummy. This was a very nice herbal tea. So my first thing I wanted to do was 
actually line all of the drawers and cabinet shelves. I love doing this. I hadn't done it in this house. And I, I you know what, confession, I never really fully cleaned the insides of the drawers after I moved in. I was just in such a hurry. So I did a really thorough job. I cleaned with cleaner and I got this super adorable contact uh, not contact paper, but it's it's from the brand contact, but it's drawer and shelf liner and it's adorable. And the thing about it that's great is it's so tacky that when you put your drawer organizer on top of it or anything in the drawer, it doesn't move around and shift around. So it made everything so much better. So this was my extra utensil drawer and I got this drawer organizer from the container store. It's so beautiful and I love the way that it looked and turned out. So I did the same thing all around my kitchen. I just, just had a routine going. I would vacuum the drawers and clean the drawer with my cleanser, line the drawer, cut the liner to make sure it fit correctly, and then evaluate everything that was in the drawer, whether I needed it or not, and I cleaned every single drawer organizer so that there were no crumbs inside and that there were no itty bits of gross stuff in there, and it was so satisfying. I've never had so much fun organizing my kitchen before I was having a blast and as you can see here's the deep drawer the one of the things I love the most is there are those bamboo drawer dividers those are so so good I got them from Amazon what's great about them is they fit in pretty much any drawer and they are spring-loaded so if your drawer is a little shallower than the divider or a little wider than uh, most drawers. It, it will fit most drawers. So uh, I will link those down below in the description so that you can pick those up for yourself. They are so good. Just make sure that before you you buy them to measure your drawer to make sure they're going to fit uh, and you know pay attention to the, to the dimensions in the description. Organizing any space is a lot about trial and error. And you can see me trying to navigate this drawer here. This is basically the prep drawer where we keep all of our prepping, cooking prepping devices. You know, these are measuring cups, uh, mandolin, colanders, all kinds of things that we usually use when we cook, but during the either the, the, the late cooking or prep process. So I was trying to decide how to get them all in there. And I actually didn't get them all in there because our drawer in this kitchen is smaller than the drawer we had in our last kitchen, which where they all fit. So I had to do a little bit of adjusting, but eventually I made it all work. Look who showed up to my organizing job. It is Mr. Clover James. I know that you all miss him when he's not in the video. So here he is for all of you guys. Mr. Clover James, he has made his appearance. He's very cute. Sometimes after living in a space, you can really get the feel of how things should be organized. And sometimes it's different than what you had originally planned. My husband and I actually were chatting here about switching which drawer was the spice drawer and which drawer held our uh, utensils because we had been repeatedly opening the spice drawer and expecting there to be utensils. 
and we were just discussing this and we decided to make the switch and it worked out so much better. We occasionally <laughs> open the spice drawer and expect there to be utensils in there just because we had been using it that way for so long. But the utensil drawer that we had been using was a little too big for what we were using it for. We don't have that many utensils, but we have a lot more spices. So sometimes living with a space can really affect how you reorganize. This little beverage area had been a little tricky. We have between us a lot of milk frothers. I'm not really sure why. Actually, I know why. My husband got a milk frother with that mud water trial. You know what I'm talking about, that like mushroom coffee. Uh, he He's not into it anymore, but he likes the, the frother that it came with. And we had another frother before, so we might want to downsize on frothers, but we do make a lot of lattes and, uh, you know, cappuccinos. So it's not like the frothers are not getting used, but we did switch over to reusable K-cups. So you can see we have still have a few one-use K-cups, but we are basically replacing them with reusable K-cups. So I think eventually I'll get a smaller K-cup holder and... Uh, give the big one away so that we can have more space in this drawer, but it's working pretty well. There was room for straws. It's a whole drink thing. I don't think I was going around my kitchen in a very linear fashion. I think I was just doing whatever felt right at the time and that's okay too. You don't have to, you know, jump from one space to the next space adjacent to it and that space judges do you can just go with whatever flow your mind wants and i was kind of jumping around and 
it's okay. We do have one drawer with just cutting boards in it. I, I, I At first I thought this was gonna be a waste of a drawer and I was gonna rehome the cutting boards, but that actually works really well and uh, it's, it's, it's what we're doing now. So I'm gonna give the inside of this cabinet a really good clean. I, again, did not do this when I moved in and I'm, I'm ashamed to admit that, but I just wanted to put everything away. And it, it's not like it was dirty, but people had been living there. This home had been previously owned by a couple before us. So uh, next time, uh, if we move again, I'll, I'll do a really thorough job cleaning, but I wanted to make sure that everything was really, really clean when I was putting the liner down and rearranging all the bowls. We go through a lot of bowls during the day. You know what? Ever since this work from home deal started, we go through a lot more dishes during the day. So we got to make sure that we have the stuff on stock. Um, it's like, you know, because when you were working outside the home, maybe you would eat your lunch at your office or, and your breakfast too. But now we're eating all three meals at home all day long, every day. It's a lot to keep up with, but I really like the way that this cabinet came out. It looks so cute. And I love these bowls and plates from year and day. Uh, this is not a sponsored video by year and day, but like those bowls and plates are super, super adorable and cute and very durable as well. So I'm back over here in the in the coffee corner doing some coffee and drink organizing. This coffee corner is still a little bit tricky. I may reorganize this area in the future. Actually, I, I don't want to say may. I definitely will, will reorganize this area in the future. But for now, this is uh, what we're doing. It's pretty good. We've got coffee in these really beautiful Marie Kondo containers from the container store and I have a reusable um well like erasable sticker on the top which I label what kind of coffee I put in there and it, it's working really well for us It was starting to get really late and really dark, but I wanted to also tackle the under sink area. I had spilled some, I guess maybe some cleaner down there or baking soda or something. So I wanted to vacuum that up and really get a control of this area. Now it's not messy at all, but I just wanted to have it be a little bit neater. And I did definitely want to line the bottom of this cabinet with some liner just in case there was a leak or something that it wouldn't damage the bottom of the cabinet because that's kind of a pain in the butt to fix. If that happens, I got a new container for the dish tabs. I like that one so much better than the one I was using. My husband likes it too. He had been complaining. So I changed it around to an OXO pop canister. We love to see it. Uh, of course, you can see now the light has changed and I I don't know how to get those lines off of my camera with the LED lights. I'm not sure. I think it might have something to do with a frame rate. Anyway, you don't care. I was cleaning the lazy season that my that my oils were on. It got so clean because it had, was like so messy with oils. I don't think I'd clean it since my last, maybe my maybe a couple moves. I I don't know. I hadn't cleaned it in a while, but I definitely wanted to neaten up. This cabinet, this was the cabinet with all of my extra spices and my oils and vinegars from when I cooked. Again, we are a family that loves a good cooking session. We love uh, bichon and nikishin, you know what I'm saying? So uh, we have a lot of like you know, rice vinegar and red wine vinegar, balsamic vinegar, olive oil, toasted sesame oil, coconut oil, avocado oil, all the oils and things for all of the things. So we had to do a lot of work on organizing all of this stuff. And I made sure to clean the bottom of the containers also when I cleaned the Lazy Susan that it was on because that is something you shouldn't forget about. Because <laughs> if you're cleaning the surface, why not clean the items that were on the surface, right? So just a quick tip, just in case, you know, you're not thinking like me sometimes. <laughs> So 
So here is the finished product, lined shelves and all with a little cute container to contain my bags of peppercorns and stuff. So much better, so much neater. Love to see it. Look at all my oils. I want to cook right now. Anyway, so I wanted to clean up. It was getting really late and I just wanted to start cleaning up because I was had I had to cook dinner very soon after that. Um, and I wanted to make sure I finished the under sink area. Oh, before I did that, it looks like I did the food storage containers. I needed to line that drawer as well. Man, I was busy. I wanted to make sure I got everything in, didn't I? Because I had just enough drawer liner to finish that like one drawer. Can you believe it? I cannot believe it. I cannot believe I got all of the drawers done. It was so satisfying. Look at that. Look at that. I love having that food storage drawer. It's in the perfect place. And um, oh my gosh, look at Clover's ball right there. Anyway, here, here is the next day. I was taking my task into the next day. I was decided to clean the outside of the cabinets because if you don't realize when you cook, you can splash things all over the place and it, it doesn't even phase you. You don't even notice. And then one day you're down on your knees doing something, maybe like, you know, grabbing something. And all of a sudden you're like, that's tomato sauce. And look at the top of the oven hood. Is that not disgusting? It's all oily. And because it was so oily, I decided to not do it with a microfiber cloth. Look at Clover. He's so cute. I decided to do it with a paper towel and clean off all of that oil. That was so gross. But I mean, the oil is, is evaporating from your pan and going up into the air and settling down onto things. It's disgusting, but we got it done. We got it done. There was nothing more satisfying than cleaning this. I swear I was like super satisfied. I was like, oh man, I wish I could do that like 10 more times, but only once. And I've been noticing for weeks that the, the, what are these? The oven vents had been browning and looking disgusting and they were oily and they had actually stopped working as well. And they were so disgusting and I decided it was time to clean them. So I gave them a good rinse in the sink. This was disgusting. I hate cleaning oven vents. I think they're gross. So after I did that, I had to clean my sink because ew, it was so oily in there. But cleaning the sink was something I wanted to do anyway during this project. I just wanted to get everything nice and clean and sparkling. So you know the scrub mommy came out with the bottomy. Listen, these are two things I always buy over and over again as I always have extra packages of Bonami cleaner and I always have extra Scrub Mommy because Scrub Mommy is so good. Scrub Mommy gets the job done, man. I love these two. They're magical together, magical. So I cleaned up my sink and now she is sparkling clean. really like this drawer microwave. I like that it's out of the way, but it definitely is a little bit awkward to press buttons on it because it's so low. But the thing I love about it the most is it's super easy to clean. All I have to do is like reach down and clean it. Look at that. Nothing gets like really on the ceiling or it, I don't know. It's just so easy to clean. I love that about it. So a uh, bonus points for the drawer microwave for being easy to clean. I guess I've said that like eight times already. Anyway, the most disgusting thing in the kitchen was underneath the fridge. Listen, that's all probably like dog hair, dust, disgusting. I don't, I think it was more disgusting when I moved in, I just ignored it. But today was the day that I was going to get it clean. I know that there's more dust behind and underneath the refrigerator. However, the, today was not the day to try and pull out the refrigerator from its little space. So I wanted to do the best I could just to clean the little vents underneath. And voila, 
she is clean. I swear I'm out here working real hard and Clover's in the back sleeping next to the back door. That's where he sleeps. Look at him. Is he not the most adorable thing you've ever seen? He work I guess he works hard being cute. I was scrubbing all the things, all of the stainless steel things I could scrub. I figured, listen, I'm giving my kitchen so much love and attention today. I'm going to give love to everything in my kitchen. So all of the stainless steel got scrubbed again. Look at me like polishing that for the second time. Oh, and there was like disgusting oil on the, on the underside of this. Ew. It was so satisfying to clean this hood. You have no idea. I was, I kept staring at it, it for days after I cleaned it. I have never seen anything so much. You're going to flip out when you see how clean they got. I am all done. I was so excited to have finished organizing and completely giving my kitchen a deep, clean, look at those clean oven vents. Uh, hello. Also, all the drawers now have liners and are organized and you can find everything and everything is beautiful and it has it in its place and I am so thrilled. If you are looking to give your kitchen a little bit of love, I hope you find this video motivating and I've given you some good ideas for your own kitchen. Take a day, take a couple of days like I did if you have a big kitchen because I needed two days to get this done and give your kitchen a little bit of loving TLC because I love my home and I want my home to hug me back so I gave it a little bit of live in my next video i'm gonna tackle the pantry so watch out for that one say goodbye to mr clover james take care of yourselves and your home and the ones around you and thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye